Stop in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, What's up, guys? Matt here with Galaxy 843, back with another go. Wednesday live stream. Joining us tonight, we've got Jonathan from the Howard Hospitality Group and David from Extreme Vending. Welcome, everyone. Hey, hey, how's it going? How's it going? Hey guys, hey. how's everyone doing? How's your Wednesday? So far, really so good. good. That's what yeah. we like to hear. Just got done with doing a collection. Barely made it here on time. <laughs> <laughs> Barely made it here on time. Yes. Yes. You joined us in the green room just a few minutes ago, and we're we're so glad you were able to make it on time. Very cool. Yeah, we did that today too. So we had a we have a group of locations about forty minutes from our house. So. Uh, Sam and I did that. Poor Amelia's sick. She's been sick for a couple days. Oh, so that's no she's, good. She's out of commission. So Sam and I uh, collecting today. So we had we had a lot of fun though. We got to go and get a boba and hang out. And, there you so go. Yeah. I have been hitting all my locations this week, making sure all my full line vending machines are all stocked up full, because I'm going to be traveling coming up here, and I wanted to make sure that those machines are good to go while I'm gone for sure. Will they yeah. last two weeks? yours so yeah we'll see <laughs> we'll see so long story short the majority of the time um i don't really visit my locations any more than two weeks at a time anyway so um most of them like i said i've visited this week i'm going to be gone for two weeks and i'll have to hit them right when i get back uh, but there's probably one or two that on the day before i because i'm actually leaving on saturday so the day before i leave i'm probably gonna have to go and just top them off yeah so that way they're they're completely ready to go and completely full but lots of great videos on the way. I've been so busy making videos for you guys. Just so you know, out I know. There, I've got like seven or eight videos scheduled, and I think I've got one or two more to make. So nice. there's gonna be there's gonna be no lapse in posting on a regular posting schedule while I'm traveling. So don't worry about that, guys. I was worried that might not work out. It looks like it's gonna be okay for sure. Well, good. I, I didn't you send us like a the list? I know I was driving, so I wasn't able to look, but you showed us all the the schedule. Yeah, I've got a bunch of stuff you scheduled out for sure. Yeah. <laughs> So everything so far, should right. post on time. Our Monday bonus videos, our weekly or our midweek Wednesday videos, and the weekend videos should all post as scheduled on time. Um, some of them might be a little bit different than what you guys are used to, and I'm going to be recording more content while I'm traveling. So lots of good stuff to come, for sure. Nice. Yeah. All right. So let's take a minute to say hello to everyone out there that joined us in the live stream. Thanks for joining us, guys. Welcome. Appreciate you being here. I've seen lots of, lots of people saying Hello and hi in the comments. So thank you so much for that. Um, don't oh, forget Matt, to... Oh, uh, you hit 30,000 30, today. I did I hit, I, I hit 30,000 this week. Yeah, 30,000 subs. Yeah. <laughs> I so, saw uh, it today. I was like, man, that's awesome. So congratulations. Yeah. I didn't get to congratulate. Thank that's you. Really thank cool. you. Yeah. Yeah, super excited. So as you know, uh, the channel's just been going, growing and growing and growing. So I'm super, super thankful for everyone out there, for all the support, for all the promotion, for all the comments, all the likes, all the shares. All that stuff. Thank you so much, guys. We really do appreciate it. Awesome, man. Yeah. Awesome. Congratulations. That's so cool. Thank you. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. You know, we, we had one one real big short that really kind of gave us that, that initial push. And I think it kind of affected so many of our other videos, too, and helped all those other videos get some viewership and get some some eyes on the channel, which really helped out, which is why I like, I like doing those shorts all the time, because they really yeah. do push the content. They really do push the channel out there. Yeah, I tried calling you the other day. I was like, Matt, you're about to hit 30,000. Yeah. You, you seem like, I know you texted me, but I got busy. And I yeah, I saw I missed your call. I, you know. I, was in a, I was in a work meeting at the time. Oh, that's okay. I yeah. ended up going to a church activity. But I was trying to be the first. I was trying to jump ahead. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I saw the 29. And then and then today when I was getting copy, you know, doing the Facebook posts yeah, to tell yeah. everybody to be on tonight, I went to your channel. I'm like, no way, dude. I didn't even know you hit it. I was like, oh, I was like that's so cool. I was so. trying to call Matt and congratulate him just before. <laughs> and then I, I missed the call. And then I didn't get a chance to follow up on that. I wanted to be the first. But yeah, I didn't <laughs> go through the first. Well, well, thank you all out there. Thanks, guys. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a huge milestone for us, obviously. You know, it's, it's so funny because, you know, we've, we've been grinding so hard and, you know, making videos consistently and just pushing out the content. And like, just, just to think just a couple months ago, we were all in Las Vegas and I was pushing to get to 10,000. I just, I couldn't get there. And just the, the changes that's happened since, since Vegas to now, it's just crazy how the channel's yeah, tripled awesome. in size. Crazy. Yeah. It's awesome. It's I'm awesome. super excited. My channel 
for my for me, I'm about to hit four thousand. That's really a big. You were just hitting thirty six hundred just like a week or two ago, wasn't it? Yeah, it was just uh, last stream I hit uh, thirty six hundred, so I gr- I gained four hundred in a week. For me, that's really big. Yeah, so. I, I really but, think that like the the whole vending niche, so to speak, here on YouTube is is, is about to take off and about to grow. Yeah. So. Um, I also see Jonathan. You're, you've been posting a lot of videos lately too, so yeah, that's good. Yeah, so we've got we've we've been filming everything, and, yeah. and I got uh, some really cool stuff coming up. We were going to do a live stream today, and David, and I was trying to get him to help me do one, um, and I didn't get to it. But we've got we I still have to be, do my review on the Galaxy um, and all that, so I got a lot to do. And so I was kind of kind of I was thinking about doing like a live stream and getting a hold of you guys and um we may be doing it together and then like you guys can ask me all the things that you think people would ask about the machine and we can go over it kind of together you know what i mean kind of as a group it'd be kind of fun yeah absolutely. and then actually look at all the bits and pieces and how it works and and all that kind of stuff but i have i have a very exciting news too because natalie went and bought us curtains for our living room so i, I, I was gonna that. say you're not all you're not all lit up today right. I, I thought maybe it was so a cloudy day over there i did today so i could actually see you guys <laughs> So she went out and got us curtains, some new curtains. That's um, adorable. That, that, uh, That's awesome. To help out. So, yeah. So Very cool. Thank you, Natalie, for that. Yes. So, uh, great help. All right. Let's talk about the giveaway real quick, and then we'll start ad- to address some of these comments. So, guys, if you didn't know, all three of us that you see here, myself, Howard Hospitality Group, David from Extreme Vending, and also Quick Play, we've all teamed up with azamusements.com to give away one of these Galaxy Claw Machines that we're talking about. And yeah. If you haven't seen one yet, you guys are probably – missing out because it's a beautiful awesome really cool claw machine and we're going to give one away and it's super simple for what you got to do to register to win all you got to do is fill out a form which is located on our discord server and all the information on on how to get to that form on our discord server is in the description of this live stream so it's super simple nice and you know it's already the end of the first week of june so we're like just a little over a month away from giving it away yeah, and, and that's an over two thousand dollar prize. You know yes. what I mean? You figured because I mean he's shipping it to you. You know, I mean they normally retail for nineteen ninety nine. You would know. Yeah, you would yeah. know. <laughs> I know. And, and and I mean then he's shipping you on top of it. So I mean that's saving you, you know, depending on where you live, could be anywhere be between three and five hundred bucks or more. Right. You know, sure. shipped to your house. So I mean, it's a great price and it's just a cool machine. And the fact that what we love about it is that we can put, because we have a lot of little stuff from our minis, and then we have some of the new medium stuff that we bought just for those machines, and we can put both in it. So we're we're loving it because you can do a nice mix of, of different prizes, and it'll pick them all up, and so it's it's really cool. So anyways, yeah, very awesome. Yeah. So thank you, Grant, for that. Cause it's, yes, it's, thank it's you, Grant. Cool. And guys, make sure you get registered so that way you are qualified to win because you don't want to miss out for yeah. sure. All right, so let's let's address some of the comments real quick. Uh, man, we got a lot of comments already, um, guys. While I'm while I'm going through the comments to pick out and highlight some, uh, I want to remind you guys: smash that like button. As you know, it helps other people oh, yeah, find the live stream. That. We're only at 18 right now, and how many do we have watching? We've got 27 watching right now. So yes. that means a few of you haven't clicked that like button. So go ahead and click that like button for us too. All right, joining us tonight, we got John Rivas saying just got out of work and saying hello. Hey, John, thanks for joining us. Hey, we got John. Drexel back. LTG joins us as. What's up, guys? Larry's Treasures is here. Randy Straley's here. Cole Green is here. Welcome, guys. Thanks for joining us. Uh, John says, I got a lot of questions tonight. Wants to know where I'm traveling this year. We'll highlight that one here. Um, So, yeah, so I'm actually going to be traveling for two weeks. I'm going to Ohio to visit some friends and family and check out some cool spots up there. Uh, Going back to my hometown to visit and, and, like I said, see some of that stuff. And then we're heading off to the Jersey Shore to go to some arcades. Not just any arcades, though. Some adult arcades some casinos but there's also a really 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 large arcade there too that we're definitely nice. going to go check out and probably do some content from let me know in the comments guys would you like to see some some gameplay videos from some of us too i you would know, we've been watching the crap out cool. of arcade videos lately right so, i mean like you know you watch so channels cool. like plush time wins or like mm-hmm. even even aaron hips claw kicker he does a lot of gameplay videos too so we were thinking about maybe doing some of that a little bit of that content and seeing how that goes would you guys like that is that something you'd like to see? Would you, would you watch that? Yeah? yeah. Okay. Yeah. All you out there too, let us know in the comments if that is something that you would be interested in. And uh, maybe that's something all of us can do. We can all do more gameplay style videos too. You never know. And then he also wants to know, am I thinking, am I still thinking about doing another second channel? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's a possibility, but 
I'm really focused on the main channel for the time being. Maybe someday we'll, you know, when we're when we're much larger, we'll branch out to a second channel for for more like dedicated content for a specific thing that I think would kind of take away from the vending stuff. But for now, just one channel for the time being. There we go. All right, PA Pokemon Pools joins us. Says, "Yay, the Wednesday stream is back." Yes, sir. Welcome, yes. welcome, PA Pokemon Pools. Glad to see you here. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate you being here. And then John says, "When you travel, are you going to explore weird vending machines?" Yeah, I always like to find weird vending machines. Um, so I was looking at some Google Google photos of some of the places I'm going, and um, one thing I noticed today was one of the places I'm going has a large giant gumball machine, like Quick Place. So we're definitely going to go check that out. Uh, looked like it was full of nerds gumballs, so we'll see if they still have a bunch of nerds gumballs in that machine, which would be pretty cool if they do. And they have a Pokemon pack vending machine, like a big one. So we're definitely going to go check those out. And if so, we'll definitely make some content and some videos about that. So we'll see what happens. Would be really cool to see. Oh, uh, let's see. Captain Namco says, what up, y'all? Not going to be saying much. Just going to chill. Well, enjoy, man. Relax. <laughs> chill. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate you being here. Didn't you win a soup on a Super Mini? Uh, Captain Namco, you I had think like, you a video. Did. You, I think you, you did. Yeah. Talking about that. Yeah. The mega, was it the Super Prize? I don't know. Let us know in the comments if you if you want to if you if you feel like coming out of your chill zone tonight. Yeah. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> Kim Huff joins us. Says hi, y'all. Hey, Kim. Thanks hi, for joining. Hey, us. Appreciate you being here. Uh, Dominic says congrats. I'm guessing that he's talking about the uh, the thirty thousand subs. So that's cool. Yeah. Look at that Mulberry Vending here. Says wow, that's so great. Hey, Mulberry Vending. Thanks for joining <laughs> us. Appreciate you being here. Um, all right, a couple questions about the flea market videos. Um, John says, when is the flea market video? We actually haven't filmed it yet. Um, and it's looking like that's probably not going to be for a couple of weeks because it's just not going to line up on time because the flea market location is only open on the weekends and we're leaving this weekend. So it's probably going, going to be a couple of weeks before we can film it and therefore get it on the channel. I tried to get there this past weekend, but it just, the timing just, just didn't line up for us. So when we do film that video, it should be a nice and full collection. So Watch out, guys. There's going to be some good stuff on the way. And then he also wants to know, what's commission like at the flea market? There's actually no commission on that location. It's just space rental. That's all it is. And it's it's basically $35 for the weekend. So at the first $35 the spot makes goes to the location. And then everything after that is all for us. So some some months it works out great. Some months it's like paying for storage, basically. So that's how it works. <laughs> look at this dominic says i love your voice hey i'm i'm also available for voiceover work if uh if, if you're interested if you need some somebody to do some videos for you or whatnot um so yeah so so we, we can definitely help you out if you need some voice work done if you like the voice i am for hire for sure <laughs> all right so a couple movies coming out right now john says who's ready to watch transformers i know there's that right now and there's the new spider-man movie are you guys good we watched any Spider Man. It's so good. You saw it already? Is it? Oh my god! We watched right. it, I haven't it seen on, yet. on Saturday. I'm hoping it's really Saturday. good because you know, my Sunday. movie theater location does really well when. <laughs> it was really good, like, and it's 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 part one of two, so just being you know interesting. I mean, so it's a whole another one it's coming out. A, so was it was it was it animated? Was it is it an animated movie? Yes, but it doesn't feel like an animated movie because it's and not then the animation yeah. that they did in the movie. They used other types of animation than just what the you know what the normal homecoming or what was yeah. homecoming whatever that normal um, that genre that genre of Spider Man is. Sure, they sure. brought in other characters you know from the Spider Verse, and they're all different types of animation. So it was it was phenomenal. I mean it was, and it was a long one too. I mean it was like two hours and fifteen minutes or something, and oh, yeah. it didn't feel like it. It was just good. Probably one of the best Marvel movies I've seen in a long time. It was really good. good. Well, Spider Man's always really good. I love yeah. Spider Man. And the new Ninja Turtle movie's coming out too. So if you guys are looking for stuff for your machines, so it sounds like it's going to be a good summer. Good summer for movies. Mm -hmm. I for hope sure. so. Mrs. Galaxy Games joins me in here. She's uh, looking for something. I don't know what she's looking for. What are you looking for? Is, she, is that what that noise was? Yeah, she's she's, she's, over, she's over. I she's, it was your dog. I think she's looking for batteries for the remote. The remote quit. <laughs> our remote quit working. Oh. oh, Netflix isn't working. But I do see she's here in the comments. She says, "Hey, friends." <laughs> <laughs> nice. <Hey. laughs> 
There we go. Some, some, some people are saying hello to you here in the comments as well. So they're saying hi back. Hi. I don't know if they can hear because th this mic, you got to be real close to, to get picked up on it. Yeah. Um, we can't I'll, hear I'll find you more. I'll find you more. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'll find you more. I think there's some out in the drawer. I don't know. Anyway, guys, where were we? We're talking about comments. Um, Mulberry Vending says, I can't adjust sound on my YouTube shorts on Android. If I could, I, I would be more successful on here. Mulberry, we can probably we could probably give you some tips and probably help you out. Um, I don't know. If you want to set up a time, we can discuss um, some, some tips on doing some shorts. Let me know. We can talk in the Discord or something like that for sure. I'd be glad to help you and maybe teach you some tricks. Um, what else? PA Pokemon Polls says, congratulations on YouTube. Thanks, PA Pokemon Polls. Appreciate that. And <laughs> I like this one. John Riva says, maybe you should travel to Missouri to see Quick Play. Who, Quick Play might be joining us tonight. We'll see if they're able to make it in tonight. I know the past yeah. couple of weeks, they've had some prior engagements, but they're, uh, they're going to try and make it in tonight. So we'll see if they're here, uh, if they make it in. But uh, we have talked about actually going and uh, hanging out at their arcade. I know uh, it would could be a kind of a cool collaboration for uh, for us to go hang out at the, at the Quick Play Arcade and do some work there and play some games. Um, it's probably a little bit closer for me to travel than than Jonathan and David to uh, to, <laughs> yeah. to Missouri, but but still that'd be kind of cool for us all to meet up there and go uh, do a four way collaboration at the arcade. You know, their sure. arcade is so sweet. Their it's arcade really is cool. sweet. I would love yeah. to see that. I really yeah. want to start an arcade. So, well, you, you know what's funny? I think I think a lot of us, you know, when we when we're coming up in our in our vending businesses and, and getting started, and we were watching YouTube. You know, a lot of us we all watched Claw Kicker, and we yeah, all yeah. saw his arcades, and we're all like, "That's awesome! Yeah. I'd love to do something like that." Um, you know, it's funny too because you know I've been doing arcade games for. 10 15 years like restoring arcade games repairing arcade games but i've always focused on the classic games and not up until i really started getting into the business side of all this yeah have i did i really start messing with uh claw machines and like redemption games and prize games things like that um but i i never wanted to open an arcade that was a classic arcade with like you know pac-man and donkey kong and stuff like that because let's be honest like for, for guys like us, it'd be cool to go visit once and be like, oh, that was cool. Yeah, you know, I'll have to go back there sometime. But like right. kids, like just they're just not into that stuff, right? It's no. it's too archaic. Those 8-bit right. graphics, nobody wants to do yeah. you know, anything to do with that. So um, I don't know. That's why I always thought it would be cool to have like, like kind of like how Quick Play has or how Aaron has. Right, you know, with, with the, all the redemption games. The claw machines, the key masters, all that kind of stuff for sure. Yeah, yeah. Redemption yeah. games are where it's at. Yeah, you absolutely. Know, I mean, and that's you, you know, the kids are going to going to want to come back yeah. and play that stuff. Are you guys familiar with the YouTube channel called Joystick? Yes. Have you heard of Joystick? Yeah. yeah. He has a couple arcades around me. Um, I get I see Joystick's uh, arcades. I actually ran into Joystick a few times. So, I just know that like I've watched his videos on YouTube, and I like it's like so over the top, like setup. You know what I mean? Like that's the only thing. Like. Him winning thousands of dollars from the Keymaster machine. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. I know they're staged. He he staged them all. Yeah. But he he was very successful when he did it though. Oh, he absolutely, he was very successful. You know, but it, it just it just makes me think like like that kind of stuff gets the views. But you know, do you really want to just fake stuff like that to get the views? Yeah. I I, I no. could never do that on my channel. Maybe I'll do that on a second channel that's under some other name that you won't even know who it is or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Not but Galaxy Games. I can see you in a, in a ski mask. What's up, guys? <laughs> that would totally give it away. The, the voice would totally give it away. Right. Uh, so like, like, so I'd, I'd have to use like a, like a, like an e voice e voice changer or something like that. Okay, Matt. Sure. I'll, I'll get like a like a like a like a girl a girl voice changer thing or something. So, right. so, <laughs> sounds like a girl. I'll, I'll sound like the girl from from Plush Tom Wins. There you go. <laughs> what's her What's her name? Crystal, I think it is. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> too funny ah uh, look at that so pa pokemon poll says he didn't mention that he's coming to ohio just to eat pizza with me the last time i was in ohio i did actually meet pa pokemon polls for lunch and he gave me a great deal on a bunch of pokemon cards for yeah, my vending machines yeah, that deal, that was cool. and just so you guys know pa pokemon polls is in the discord so if you need bulk pokemon cards for your vending machines 
hit them up in our Discord. You do got you, you do still have some, right? I don't know. Yeah. Let me know in the comments if you do. I think he does. <laughs> he All sent right. me. Oh wait, I took it outside. John he also wants to know when you get to one hundred thousand subscribers, what do you plan to do? I don't know, man. I plan to show off that silver play button when I get it. That's for sure. I plan <laughs> you're to, you're, yeah. I plan you're to, have to bring it with you everywhere you go so you can show us and, and like, I want to see the. It would be really button. cool if I had one for IAPA, but I think that's probably a stretch. Yeah. But that but would be cool. Know, it just takes one or two more videos like this. And you, you know you what? You're there. right. It, I think like one or two more videos, just like it would, it would pretty much push me there. I think you're right. You're right. It's, awesome. it's, the it's the only thing is, I think YouTube takes their time on making play buttons, though. Of course they do. But, you know, I'll, uh, I'm just going to keep grinding, guys. I'm just going to keep grinding. And like, who knows? Maybe we'll get one or two more good videos. It'll just push us there. Maybe your, it'll happen. Your little this year. play button behind you needs to be updated. You got 10,000 now. Yeah, yeah, 30. yeah. Well, that one, I, I made it 3,000. So I need to update it to 30,000. I need to add another zero. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's pretty funny. Um, yeah. So maybe maybe we'll do that one of these days here pretty soon. All right, let's address a couple more comments, and I know we got a, a, a couple topics to talk about. Uh, Randy says, stop by Martinsburg, West Virginia, on the way to Ohio. Uh, I'm not sure where in West Virginia Martinsburg is, but I do drive all the way up Route 77 through West Virginia, so I don't know if that's anywhere near Martinsburg, but I will be making that trip, that long, boring trip through West Virginia. <laughs> It's a it's a it's a long state. It takes it takes forever. Anyway, um, John also wants to know extreme. When you hit ten thousand subscribers, are you gonna throw a party? Uh, I might do a. <laughs> I made a video before uh, uh, on my other channel, and it was so corny and cheesy. So I would like to try to do something like that again. Uh, now that I hit you know on a channel where I know what to do, so yeah, I'd be okay with having a party. Uh, or some sort of stuff like do a live stream and eat cake in front of everyone. That'd be fun. I like that. <laughs> there you go. Make some cake. <laughs> yeah, you should see my my never mind like my other channel when I hit 100 subscribers. It was so corny. <laughs> okay, give, I, I love old channels. It was a game channel. Come join us on the stream. Well, the girl brush your hair. <laughs> anyway, um, so Mrs. Galaxy Games is in here. She's uh. Asking questions about the remote. I guess I guess I'm gonna have to do some tech support uh, after uh, after the stream is over. I'm gonna have to do some tech support. Um, a couple more comments here. Uh, Nicole, hey Nicole's here. Welcome Nicole. Hi, she Nicole. says, "Hey friends, Galaxy Games, Extreme Bending, and Howard Hospitality Group." Hey Nicole, thanks for joining us. Appreciate you being here. All right, and also insert coin vending. Anna is here. Hey insert coin vending. Says hey, I was finally able to pop in on the Monday live stream that ended up getting rescheduled to today <laughs> well glad you're able to join us thanks for and being here now on i mean i think this is where it's going to be right We're and sorry i didn't say hi nicole i was trying yeah. to figure out this toy i got from all star so nice this is funny. yeah Yes, so it looks like we're going to go back to Wednesdays for the time being. Um, the Monday was kind of an experiment to see how it would go, to see if there would be any difference in viewership. And there was a little, a little bit of a difference uh, on, on the lighter side. So I think we're going to stick with Wednesdays for the time being. So hopefully you guys are okay with that. And a couple more questions here. Um, Kim Huff wants to know about the flea market. Do you have to be there on the weekends? No, uh, we we basically use it as a, an unmanned arcade. Uh, we do show up and clean everything. We do, uh, you know, do our collections and stuff like that. But we don't have to go every weekend. Uh, as long as we're paid up, we're good to go. So, and what's really cool too is like, I don't know if you've seen some of our videos or some of our pictures from there, but like sometimes people will leave their garbage behind and like cups on the machines and stuff like that. And some of the other people around us we'll actually take those and throw those away for. So it's really, really cool that we've kind of built like a little community there too. So, you know, what's funny is that happened to us with the fairs. Cause like there's the same, a lot of the same vendors that go to all yep. the, you know, all yep. the county fairs. Yeah. And so like, they were always like taking care of a million and stuff like, oh, you know, you know, like oh, I'll watch the booth and you know, if you, if you want to take a million, go ride some rides or whatever. And I'm like, Oh, that's so nice. You know, thank you. And whatever. absolutely. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah, <laughs> I'm out of here. So, yeah. They were very, I mean, everybody was so nice to her. And there was like these makeup ladies that gave her makeup and it was just really cool. We had a good time. So cool. But they were the same way. I love it. Very nice people. Good. All right. Well, let's pause on the comments for a little bit here and let's talk okay. about 
some cool promotions that we have yes. and some things that are coming down the pike. Now, I know we're working on discount codes for Discord members with multiple websites, multiple suppliers. So which yeah. one, what do we want to kick it off with? You want to go first, David, with All-Star? Sure. Let's talk I, about All-Star. I got, I got to tell you guys, this man right here, well, I'm trying to point to him, but you guys probably don't know. Jonathan Howard, he <laughs> got us hooked up with several companies, and these promotions are huge. Uh, one of them's a limited time, so I really want to try to support that uh, website too, and Jonathan probably go over that flat line. But I got a shipment in from All-Star. And I'm super pleased with what I got. I actually recorded uh, opening some of this, so I'll have a video out soon. But this right here, uh, have you guys ever seen one of these before? I've been fidgeting with it the whole time with this stream. I absolutely love this. And I was trying to see, there's like a little marble inside here, and it looks like it has batteries in there. So I was thinking if I hit it hard enough, it will light up. But Because this one right here lights up. But All-Star Vending... You, uh, if you go into the Discord, we have our discount code in there, and you get these toys. They're already like the most cheapest toys you can ever purchase for your mini claw machines or just vending in general. But they have an additional 10% discount when you use our discount code. So make sure you guys support them because they have really cool toys. Like I thought this one was really cool. So it's a mystery prize, right? It's a little present. Stick in your claw machine, right? You know how people like presents? But it folds inside out, and it turns into some sort of animal in the this one's a chick. That was a chick. And then <laughs> don't smell me. It's, Jonathan had me do that because they do smell pretty strong. But uh, <laughs> these cute little squishy octopuses, I Man, love them too. Cute. Yeah. And, and those, there's come, a whole bunch. those come encapsulated, right? Yeah, they Already? come encapsulated. So you can uh, put them in your super mini capsulated. Uh, I think of, this is only like 20 cents a piece before the discount. I think after the discount. It was like 16 or 18 cents a piece or something like that. Yeah, probably. And so, like, you're talking about such cheap toys. And then if you order the plush from All-Star Vending, uh, it's free shipping on the on the plush, too. So you get 10% off, plus the plush is free shipping. And uh, the, I, I'm just so excited to get – I ordered a whole bunch. I ordered like $700 worth with All-Star for my first order, and they, they delivered. And I can't wait to show you the video that I'm working on. And then this thing I thought was really cool too. This is a really nice squishy. Uh, this I think this was a carrot, but and then and there, there's a whole bunch. I could keep going. Here's one more. One more thing. You know how people <laughs> like the octopus fidget spinners, but yes. they make different uh, faces. Oh, as confused. it turns, that's oh, cool. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. 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 Plus, it's got puppets on it. Looks like. Oh yeah. It's like. Yep. Keep it busy right there. Those. Hey, I know, but I really like this one a lot because, like, if I in my restaurants, I keep telling the servers, and the servers are laughing because they want these because they're like <laughs> yes, stress balls. Stress balls. Like this is the ultimate stress. But one lady said that she, if she ever gets a, a customer she hates, she's gonna go like this. Boom. <laughs> then the <hammer's laughs> like, wow. She was joking. She was funny lady. Yeah, and those like, spinners are cool. That was really neat. I don't, I don't think I've seen those before. Those are really cool. Yeah, I do have to highlight a super chat real quick that came in oh. while we were talking about that from Mr. Gumballs. Mr. Gumballs. Hey, Mr. Gumballs. Hey. Welcome back. Glad to see you here. Thanks for joining us. And thanks for the super chat, buddy. Appreciate that. We love Thank you, Mr. Gumballs. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Nice. So I've got some cool stuff. I got a box of goodies over here that I got. And so just so you guys know, if you join the Discord... Starting today, we got um, a partnership with Flatline that starts today and it's running till the end of the month. So we need you guys to buy as much stuff as you can between now and the 30th because they're, the to, they're kind of they're kind of testing it out to see, you know, how much we're going to help them in the Discord. So if you guys could place orders, that'd be awesome. At least one just to help us kind of keep this going so we can keep doing these type of discounts. But they sent us. Or, or they We've have got some whole... examples, don't we? Don't we have some oh, yeah, examples yeah, yeah. to show off? So if you want to go down the list. All right. I'll... All right. So I'm but... going I'm, I'm to narrate. So I've got all a right. list of items. Yes. And Jonathan is going to pull them out of the magic box to show you the list these, these different things. And we're going to kick it off with the one that's probably the most fun to say. Okay. You know, you know where I'm going, right? Yes. All right. So this one is flat stickers that you put in like a, like a tattoo sticker machine. And it's called butts on things or B O T S <laughs> butts on things stickers. Yes. So let's, let's see some examples of butts on things. Oh, Look at that. no. So that's a pineapple <laughs> with a butt. All right. What else we got? We got 
cake or cake. toilet paper with butts on, butts on things. <laughs> These are <laughs> so, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> on the pizza crust, look at that. Oh, my God. These are great. Pickles, I mean, soccer balls, and all these different things with butts on them. So, yeah, oh, look at that. that I mean, gumball, and, and the little gumballs gumball. have butts on them too. Yes. <laughs> I didn't even see that. They do, the little gumballs. Mul Mulberry Vending says cake with cake. Yes. Oh, <laughs> yes, <my God>. exactly. <laughs> Donut butts, snowman butts, all that stuff. So I think the kids will love that yeah. stuff, right? So These are great. Those these will probably do like really well in some flat line ones. machines. Yeah, these are really cute. Look at okay. that. So that's the first one. Okay. All right. All right. Next, and I, I never know if I say this right, but I'm going to try. I think it's axolotl stickers. Those are those little water creatures that look like lizards, but sort of tadpole-y kind of things, right? With the little face whisker hey, things. Hold on one second. Is it, is it pronounced axolotl? I think it's axolotl. Hold on. Mulberry I'm says, looking. okay, I'm ordering the butts for sure. Yes. You can't go wrong with the butts. So you put this in your sticker vending, right? I'm trying to find them here. Give me a second here. Uh -oh. Sorry, I got found the other two. All right, let's. Do see. we need Do we need to move on to one of the other ones while you're looking for those? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you have? What do you What else do you have there? What's the next one? The next one is Ink Attack Live Tattoo. Oh, and here's the axolotl. Here's okay. a card for it. These are cool. Okay, look. Oh, those are cute. Right? Look yeah. at those. Axolotls. That one's what is that one drinking like a, oh, like, like a Starbucks boba. kind of thing over there? Yeah, it's got like a boba tea or Starbucks. Nice. Or like that. Wow, those are very colorful. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Boba lotl. And then the other side has more. And remember, every time you go collect from the machine, you're supposed to turn the, the card around, right? Yeah, that's what Gen Ven says. That's what Gen really Ven says. So so I mean it makes it look like the machine's always refreshed. There's always something new in there too. Yeah, so that's good. Okay, next one. All right, next one on the list is Ink Attack Live Tattoos. You got some tattoos for us? Ink Attack oh, Live. Cool. Oh, so it's like a dinosaur. That's a cool tattoo. That I would love cool. that for me. They're colored, Oh, too. look at that wolf face. Look, with the tribal artwork behind it. And he's got oh, the red eyes. Cool. That is cool. Is that like a dragon? Oh, it's uh, an alligator. Oh, an alligator. Okay. Crocodile. Cool. All right, all right. Why do I, I keep looking at everything a sideways? Like, why do I keep looking at it sideways? I don't know. Yeah, a bear, a bear with that's, skulls. It's like attacking. Cool. Yeah. So that's those. That one's like a uh, snake. rattlesnake or something like that. Okay. That so that's what Ink Attack Live tattoos are. Yep. And all these things are discounted with the discount code available in the Discord right now. So make sure yeah, you guys so get over there and example, check this stuff out. Like the Axolotl ones are normally $34, but with the discount, they're only $30.60. So you, you save $4 off of them, which is Saving awesome. Saving some cash. So, yep. All right, what else we all got? Right. We got we got girls classic tattoos. So like colorful butterflies. That's that's really cool. That was very, very uh, unique. Some some more flower butterfly things. Roses. Yeah, like uh, I've got some... some tattoos kind of more more for girls in some of my machines and they do really well uh um, yeah girls really seem to like them that's cool that's like They're a really Hawaiian flower too. yeah really pretty yeah very bright eye catching okay. <clears throat> all right up next is two inch capsules and one i can see is food shaped erasers can you show us some food shaped erasers i think so so this is a whole box of goodies oh yeah here they are okay so we got a pineapple. Does it have a face on it? Yeah, yeah. It's got a little face on yeah, it. it. Okay. Pizza. You, you got to have. The, is it? Or is that? Is that pie? Is that pizza? pizza. Or pie? Okay. The pink on the outside made it look like pie. All right. So that looks like a, like a strawberry shortcake or a yogurt or something. A froyo maybe something like that. It's a donut. A donut. Egg. Okay. Cool. Cool. <laughs> a donut. <laughs> and oh, of geez, course, you so got to have cute. the burger. Right. Yeah, okay. So and then ice cream and a bunch of them. So that's those. Oh, there's a whole bunch. This one's really cool looking. It's really pretty. I like that. It's like uh, yeah, yeah, very colorful. I like okay. everything with a lot of color like that because it really catches the eye. All right, and up next we've got these are in the two inch capsules. It says glitter ducks. Do you have them for two inch capsules? Okay, there we go. Look at those oh, glitter ducks. Cool. Those are bright and shiny and shimmery and sparkly. So very cool. And they actually sell these, yeah, separate too, with, without the capsules. So you can put them in okay, your so minis. You could put those in your minis too. That's good to know. Yeah. Good yeah. to know. 
All right. Up next, we're moving to Crane and Redemption stuff. Okay. So the first one is a plush. It's a reversible plush octopus. Look at that. Oh, sweet. And one side yeah. sparkly. Yeah, pop it on the outside there. There you go. So it's all shiny and stuff Look there, how too. Big Very it is. cool. That's cool. Very nice. That's what we'd like to see. All right. Up next, this is a reversible plush poop emoji. <laughs> I can't believe I have to say that on the live stream. <laughs> so I've seen these in prize lockers a lot of in a lot of people's different machines. That's pretty cool. Look at that. You got your brown and your pink. That one looks like he's I don't know having some trouble yeah <laughs> <laughs> he's mid poop <laughs> <laughs> all right all right moving on let's go to the designer and fuzzy socks oh yeah these now grant says he puts these in his machine okay and they kill it and socks. i would never thought that it would have been kids actually want to play for socks that's yeah, what he really? said that's what he said i I, I, I'm not sure I, I believe that. Looks like we just lost Extreme. I'm going to take him off uh -oh. screen for just a minute. I'm sure he'll be back. All right, this so we like got... cat claw. So fuzzy socks. Kids fuzzy really socks. actually want to play for socks, guys? I mean, come on, really? All right, those are kind now, of cool. Those are kind of cool. I've there. seen ones that are like superhero and stuff. You know, yeah. like, you know, Batman, Superman. But would kids want to try to win them in a machine like i i picture like i picture I like, I picture, like I picture like you know like in the christmas story movie when the kids get socks for for a present they throw them away. <laughs> you know that that's what i picture i don't know maybe maybe yeah, let us maybe know what you guys think yeah maybe I, i'm out of the times here but let us know in the comments if you think kids would play for socks in your machines all right moving on up next we've got a larger version of ducks it looks like these are six oh inch these ducks. are cool these are my favorite so these are going to go in our machines for sure. We're ordering these tomorrow because Amelia went nuts. Oh, geez. Okay. Aren't those cool? Those are cool. And they're so, like... Kinda... And they squeak? Yeah. Wow. Look at this one. Okay, so that so they're not all glitter. They're like different themed. And that one's yeah. Jeep themed. And, and That one's Jeep, right? Because the whole well, thing is a Jeep. Don't people like put ducks on Jeeps or something yeah, like that? For something? It's, it's, I, I, I don't, you know, it's a Jeep thing. I wouldn't understand, but who knows? That's cool. It's got a peace sign on it. Yep. There you go. So that's those. Those are cool, man. We're ordering these because those would go great in our in our bigger claw machines. So, so these they're are... actually my local arcade has um, glitter ducks that are about that size in one of their claw machines, and it's got their logo on it. Oh wow! So I don't know where they got that done, but uh, I think yeah. All Star does that. They I do. Think they do branding or something like that. that. Okay. 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 Looks like we got one last thing left. It's a fidget toy seven piece box. Okay. So it looks like so, you've got multiple items coming out of this. Yeah, thing here. so it looks like you got a reversible octopus. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay. That's the mad one there, the mad side. So do these actually come into like a like a box or yeah, so it's just a mix, giant box. Okay, so mix. it's a mix. Okay. Yep. Good to know. Mm -hmm. All right. These are a pop it. Pop it, octopuses. octopus. Okay. This looks like it's a small version of what David just had, actually. Um, let's see if I can get it open here. Um, is it in a capsule? Is that what you're... Yeah, it's in a capsule. But his was the big version. But I think this is the small version because I've seen these before. Because we had a mix from them when we first started. And it was this... T oh, no, this is totally different. So it's Okay, like so it's like a squeeze ball kind of thing. But yeah, if you squeeze it, like it, it's got like... It looks like... Like Orbeez or something inside, right? Yeah. Is that, what is, is that what's in there? Like Orbeez? Yeah, like things? Orbeez. Yep. Okay. Yep, yep. And it's an right. animal of some kind. It looks like it's got. Oh, okay. All right. So it's, it's not just a regular ball. It's like. No, it's like a. It's like a. I don't know what that is. Spider like or a... something? It looks like it's like See, a beetle. It's got little eyes. It's a beetle and... or something. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's cool. So that it's is pretty like... cool. I don't know. It's got That's some texture neat. on it. All right. Okay. And then there's there's then still a few other things bracelet. in there. Pop a bracelet. Yeah, kids love those. And then those little stretchy hand things. Oh, like slap hands. Slap hands. Nice. Okay. Then a little mini fidget. Oh, spinner. a tiny little fidget spinner. Look yeah. At that. And then it looks like um, like us, like us. It's like a little hippo almost. I don't nice. But it glows so, in the dark. It looks like so lots of cool stuff in that in the in all those samples there. And guys, you can save money on all these things with flatline vending right now 
Uh, the the code or the the discount code is in our Discord server. If you guys want to go over there and check it out, you can yeah. find the Discord link in our video description here too. And if you're not so, a member of the Discord, you're really missing out. Oh, there's so many great people. Here's in there. those stickers. Sorry, I didn't even see them. They're on a sheet. The uh, so axolotl stickers. There we but go. they also do like these little boxes, which is cool. So like, um, you can they can do like the pop tubes like in a box. You know, if you want to put the whole box like in your. Or if you machine. like have like a like a ticket arcade or something like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. At the prize counter. Okay. And that's of good course, to know. the one thing that we got from them the second time when because um, we originally ordered from Candy Machines and got these, but um, the you and I know these these too well. <laughs> There are yes, those. Unfortunately, I'm. Yeah. I just did a bunch of them, and I am so sick. So they of, do these. I'm also. so sick of those things. <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah. you, you know what's funny though? So my struggle when it, when it comes to loading Pokemon cards into those folders is, after you put the Pokemon cards in and fold them up, keeping them all organized so they're not all flying out. Like like they don't like they don't really want to stay closed. They want to still be stretched open. Yes. So that's like my problem. I'm always trying to find a way. So to, what I've to done do is I'll do a stack about maybe that thick. And then I put a rubber band around it and then I put an arrow on the front, like up. Yeah, so yeah. when I put them in the machine, I know what the top, where the top of the cards are. So yeah. when I put them in and then I use the original box that some of my old ones that I bought already made and I put them in the box, the long, you know, like I have like the tattoos and stuff I order, I keep those boxes and I've been keeping them in there and that's been working, you know, with the close side down. And it's been working for me, so that's the way I've been handling it. But I don't know. There's probably a better way, but that just worked for me. So what happened sure. to David? I don't know. I think I think he maybe he lost his connection or something like that. You know how every now and then that he seems to go off the rails like that. So I don't know what happened there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's get back to some of the comments. Okay. Ethan, Ethan, I see your question. I, I, I see it quite a bit. Uh, Ethan wants to know how much does a good coin pusher cost? And I'm probably not the best person to answer that because uh, I can't run coin pushers in my state. Um, yeah, me neither. And quite honestly, when it comes to prices of machines, I might be a little bit jaded because I base all my prices on machines from arcade, pinball, vending, coin op auctions. And at the auctions, coin pushers go anywhere from four hundred dollars to a thousand dollars, or so to speak. There you go. There's a a display card of the graphic socks. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. It'd be interesting to. I heard they they do great. I don't know. People would have to. I'd love to hear what people think. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. All right. Looks I like we also got Kevin from CandyMachines.com here. Welcome, hey. Kevin. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate you being here. You know, you're, since you're here, we got to ask, what's the status of those machines coming out? We are super excited. <laughs> I am, I like want to place an order yesterday. I want to get one of those into my location, like that Pokemon card and Pokeball machine or two inch capsule machine, whatever you want to call it. I cannot wait to get my hands on one of those. I can't wait to, I, I'm, I'm like, just take my money already. Would you take my money? <laughs> I want one of those machines. So hopefully you've got, you've got some news for us here tonight. We'd love to hear more about that. If so, let us know in the comments if there's any updates on that machine. Because we are ready. I know Quick Play's ready. I'm definitely ready. <laughs> For sure. All right. Uh, what else do we got here? Um, so Ethan also wants to know, he says, what about vending? Are you asking about the price of vending machines? Um, if you're looking to buy new, Jonathan, you could probably maybe share some more information about buying new machines since you recently just completed a deal with Wittern, right? Yeah. They're How'd expensive. That go? They're expensive, but worth it. Yeah. So, and we, you know, we're, we, it, they have, um, so I mean, anywhere between depending on what you get, cause they have the basic like combo machines, they have snack machines, and then they have like different levels. So you can be anywhere between three and six grand all the way up to probably eight or nine grand. If you get ones like Jaime's getting, you know, with the, with the touch screen and stuff like ours, um, was pretty expensive and it was half the size of his, you know, when he normally gets, and it was still very expensive. So, um, brand new is expensive, but they do have like some, some financing options. If that helps you, um, you can always do something like that with them. Oh, David's back. Yay. David's back. He's a little so, grainy. Hey. He must be having some connection like lag over there, but welcome back, buddy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Actually, uh, my thing exploded on me. I, I was playing with that thing and I squoze really tight just to see. I was like, I wonder how good these things do against really strong. Grips. You gave it the stress test, huh? Yeah, I gave it the stress test live on stream. Luckily, my it was away from the computer and then you guys didn't see it explode all over my arm. So I had to <laughs> excuse myself. 
you know, that so, happened to me one time too. Off. Um, I was at a work function. We got, we had gotten a bunch of promotional prizes and stuff from Oriental trade and they had those little yo-yo balls. They were, they were like squeezy, but they were, I think they were filled with like water or something like that. And one of them broke on, I was yo-yoing and it busted in my hand and I got water all over the place. So I know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do. So don't don't go like this with yeah, don't, them. It's tempting. Don't you... don't don't squeeze them like it's a, a super stress ball or anything. Yeah, I was just like, and it's a good thing I wasn't in front of the camera. It would have been all over my computer. <laughs> right. Made me bad. right, right. <laughs> good. Um. All right. So let's see. Kevin says, "Here it goes." He says, "Close. We are getting close." Nice. Good, because we are super excited for those machines. I can't wait to get one of those machines in my game store location and replace those old bulk machines I have. I want something that's new with some some more new technology, some Nyx credit card readers on there, ready to go, ready to go. So good, can't wait. To I gotta I gotta tell you, Kevin. If you're, I know, you're, hopefully you're still here, but I He's talk here. to people in the Discord all the time, and I'm probably about I've had I think four or five phone calls this week like through discord you know like just using a phone call through discord with questions and stuff about just vending and somebody had a contract question and stuff which i'm not the greatest with but they wanted to ask me questions and i got on the phone and like i think three out of the five had bought something from candymachines.com and like just raved about like their customer service and like being taken yeah. care of and how fast they got it and like i mean just you guys are killing it man so great job kevin right. and chris and all those guys i mean thank you for taking care of everybody because they just they love it and so it's i don't know i hear i don't hear it enough i mean i hear too much it's so good you know what i mean so it's just awesome so thank you i guys. know yeah i see it in the facebook groups all the time i see it on yeah, the discord yeah. i see everybody talking about how great their service was from candymachines.com and that's why yeah. I love wearing that shirt when I can too, because uh, I know I'm I'm helping promote a great company. So that's yeah. really cool. I mean, yeah. we're out collecting today. That's why I got this yeah. shirt on. Usually I wear your shirt on on the stream, but <laughs> yeah. it's um, you know, it's just it's just great to hear. And like there's one guy that he ended up buying more stuff from candy machines, but the first machine he bought was a mini from somebody else. And like Kevin took care of him even though he didn't even buy it from them. You know, he bought it secondhand. And Kevin still got him the parts and everything and took care of him. And I mean, it's just, it's great. So Kevin, thank you Kevin's so done the same thing for me. I, I bought a machine at the auction and he, he helped me with parts for it. You know, awesome. yeah. it, 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 he was supporting machine that, you know, he had nothing to do with, but that's right. just, that's just how great they are for that's sure. Cool. Well, my, my prize locker key on the super prize, uh, someone took off with it and I contacted Kevin and Kevin, he, I didn't pay for anything and he just sent it off and he did express shipping on that sucker. I paid a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. Totally cares. awesome. Candy I was like, machines what? is awesome. All That's these cool. comments. Look at all these comments, guys. Candy machine rocks. Candy machines is awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. totally cool. Very cool. Well deserved. Yeah, I got guys. more well prizes, deserved. honestly. Like we were at that convention, can, candymachines.com deserved a lot more awards. They, well, I, I right. think of all the all the times in my normal life I deal with. You know, I mean, how many stuff, how many things you have in your house? You know, that you have to call you know, GE about your stove or something. I mean, like, it's just so nice to have a company in vending that actually takes care of their people. Like, it's just, yeah, it's awesome. Cause I mean, it's just the best. So thank you guys. It's really cool. Appreciate it. They've been great to us too. So it's just, yeah. Awesome. Absolutely. Well, good. All right. Um, so we got more questions coming in. Let's see what kind of questions we have here in the comments. A lot of people talking to each other, which I think is really cool that you guys kind of chat yeah. with each other in the comments too. Um, we're obviously not going to highlight a lot of that stuff here in the stream, but I think it's really cool, like I said, that you guys interact with each other in the chat here, which is awesome. So keep doing that. We encourage you to keep doing that. Um, Ethan's got another question for us. He wants to know what's a good place to put your machine. And there's so many answers to this question because, I mean, there's so many different types of machines too. But right. I mean, like I always say that the best place to put a machine is somewhere where somebody's stuck, where somebody has to wait, where somebody's got time to kill, like a car place where they're you know waiting to get their car worked on, or in the waiting room at a hospital, or like at a hotel where they can't you know they can't leave or something like yeah. that. Those are always the kind of places where I feel you're going to get your best like return, where somebody you know they're they're kind of they're stuck there, where they they're trying to kill time or whatever they might need a snack like car dealerships. I mean. We recently just upgraded and got a new vending SUV, which you might see in an upcoming video soon. Oh, um, nice. Yeah. So we spent a couple hours at 
the car dealership because that's my favorite thing in the world to do. No, I'm totally lying. But yeah. of course, while we were there, we had to hit the vending machine. We actually hit it twice because we were we were there for like I said, a couple hours, and we hadn't eaten. So therefore, we were stuck, couldn't leave, hit the vending machine twice, so to speak. Um, so yeah, so those are the kind of places, in my opinion, that are always going to be the best, but you know, maybe, maybe you're, you're want to focus more on claw machines. And if that's the case, something like that might not be the best case. And I think Jonathan and David, you guys are probably a little bit more versed in those types of locations. So what are your favorite locations for those? Oh boy. My, mine right now are the Boba shop because my Boba shop does like 1200 a week in sales. Yeah. <laughs> impossible. Impossible. Disneyland. Nope, impossible. Disneyland. Um, but also steak houses too. Well, I showed you guys before we got on the stream our boba top, yeah, boba tea shop, how well yeah. it did this yeah. week. And yeah. and and so that's a those are really good. Um, our grocery stores do really well. If you can get into grocery stores, um, you know, and ours are right by the door when they go in and when they go out. So the kids see them, you know, and they just want to play them. Uh, and then we have um we do really well in like high-end restaurants which you wouldn't think that we would, but it seems like people right. need to wait longer at those restaurants to be seated. So we have a lot of, a lot of, you know, more expensive or, or, or restaurants where people have to wait. And like, so without, just, without saying the name, can you kind of give us more information about what exactly a high end restaurant is? Like, 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 like a steakhouse, a, okay. you know, like a steakhouse or like a, um, like an Italian restaurant or, somewhere where you're, you're going to be waiting to be seated for like 20 minutes and the okay. kids are jumping all over mom and, and they're wanting to, you know, to get seated and, and get their crayons and, yeah. you know, start culling their thing or whatever. I mean, it's just, those have been the best for us and they are just killing it. And, and we didn't think that cause they're usually, Oh, you know, one of them's open all the time, but the other one's only open from four to 10 or four to 11. And it just, it's doing 20 bucks a day. And that's you like the, I mean? that's like the Texas roadhouse I used to have yeah and it's just that it's just I, we're very surprised and so mm -hmm. we're we're hunting for more restaurants like that that in but i mean boba shops uh grocery stores um, um ice cream shops especially right now because it's getting hot it's summertime so yes any place there's drinks um like we've been trying to get into jamba juice and we can't we really want to be in there, like a jamba juice or like a juice shop or something would be really cool i think because you get so much traffic but um Anything like that's great. Any 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 place that there's a lot of people coming through the door all the time is 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 great. For like you said, Dave. I mean, Matt with Full Line. I mean, like we have dealerships, we have hotels, and those are the best spots because they don't want to leave the hotel. They want to come out in their pajamas and get yep. a bag of chips. You yep. know what I mean? And yep. and so those are those are great for us. And then the 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 dealerships, the salespeople are stuck there all day, and people are waiting two or three hours to buy a car, like you just did. And they're hungry. You know what I mean? They're missing mm -hmm. their meal or whatever. Yeah. So those do really well for us. Yeah. Good. <clears throat> well, I just did the collection at my bubble shop <clears throat> today. Sorry, my voice. I You're ate good. some cookies while I was waiting to get back on. And it kind of made my voice dry. <laughs> but anyways, uh, the, the uh, bubble shop did about 1200 in the week. <clears throat> the... Um, my other shop, which I, uh, I have to make a video on, that one did about thousand dollars in the week, um, and that's kind of a fancier. Yeah, that's kind of a fancier <laughs> restaurant, like Jonathan's talking about. It's actually not too far away from my Texas Roadhouse I used to have, and then I have another one that's a fancier restaurant, and I'm, they're texting me about the. There's like four more locations I can get get with them possibly, and I, I'm so excited because I have these machines showing up. If I get all four of them. I think that's going to increase my income uh, after payouts roughly around eight thousand dollars a month profit just nice. by four more locations. If they're anything like these other ones that I have, so uh, very I'm really cool. Looking very cool. I know. Yeah. So, you guys want to see the stack of money I brought in today? I'm sure they do. Yeah, I'm sure they do. Yeah. Sure I'll be right back. All right. While while uh, while he's going to grab his stack of money, <laughs> uh, another question came in from Cole. He wants to know about what you put in your prize lockers. Now I don't have any machines where I have prize lockers, so I don't really have an answer for this, but if I were to have a machine with prize lockers, which I may in the future, I would personally focus on putting like Pokemon tins and stuff like that. Because, you know, as you see in my videos, Pokemon stuff does super well. And Jonathan showing a nice example of something you'd see in a prize locker in like a, you know, like a mini claw machine or something like that. Uh, but what, what else, what else are you guys putting? in? I'm going to go grab lockers? something. I'll be right back. 
You guys are all leaving me high and dry here. Look at that. Every, <laughs> everyone's off grabbing stuff. Oh, geez. Look at this. <laughs> oh, I got to pull this back up. All right. This is Let me cue up the Like a Boss music cash. again. Like a boss. You guys there see that go. okay? Look at that. This is the stack of cash I got. This is not including credit card sales or my quarters. I got $300 in quarters. And then, you know, about double this in, in, in credit card sales. See, this is this is why you're all here. This is why we all do vending. Because look at this. Look at these results right here. This is exactly what we're talking about. This is why we do what we do, guys. I love it. This is so much fun. I, I just went to the – it's funny because I went to the bank today. And uh, because of the recent growth I'm having, I'm hitting that bank uh, two to three times a week now. And uh, they're like, you were just here yesterday. I'm like, I know, but I have another collection. And now I have to go there again tomorrow and deposit all this money and uh it's so, just it's been so crazy. when because you know when you go to the bank and you got all those ones wrapped up like that they got to undo them and run them through their counter machines right so they do do they, do they roll their eyes when you walk in like my bank does uh <laughs> i don't they, roll they, mine. they're really kind to me they're, they're they actually set me up with my llc uh yeah, for yeah, free yeah but uh I, I actually did you ever guys ever play Final Fantasy VII and hear the Sephiroth music? Sephiroth. Duh, 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 duh. <laughs> yes. I, I one time I came in and it was after one of my bigger routes. Uh, now it's it's nothing compared to what I am getting now. But I had three thousand dollars in in cash and I started playing that music on my phone. I walked in and it was playing the boss music and they just rolled their eyes at me at that time. Yeah, but they're yeah. actually really nice to me. So. So funny. back to prize lockers. Yes, nice prize holiday. lockers. We're talking about what we put in prize lockers. Oh, yeah, for sure. So these. So what is that? It is a, we got these. They were on sale at Walmart. And they were on the, the closeout aisle. Thank you. And um, they're basically like a pack of Pokemon. It must have been a promo thing they did or something. Yeah, yeah. But we bought like two packs of them. So, and they were 20 bucks a piece. So we're putting these in lockers. Nice. And then, so I found those at Walmart, of all things. And I went in there to get some sodas for a vending machine and saw those. I, I buy Pokemon boxes at Walmart, too. I think it's, mm -hmm. yeah, it's a great place to and buy. And then these. Oh, look this, at that. These were off of Alibaba. Um, are those earbuds? Yeah, those are earbuds, aren't they? Yeah. So I don't think you can Inside see a Pokeball. Those are, those are Inside, really cool. Yeah, and these were $30 off Alibaba. Cool. Nice. So, and they're great for price I like lockers. that a lot. It's good size, and then yeah. we do. We ordered a lot of these, and these do really well. The Nintendo. And these are only twenty bucks. Okay. Yeah. Six hundred twenty games, and it's like a little mini NES looking thing. So interesting. Those are great. That, that, I like that too. My favorite one definitely is the Pokemon. I need to order some of those Pokemon ear. I need to get with you and where you get that. Aren't those cool? Need. Those are really yeah. Cool. Those yeah. are so cool. Um, I was trying to find a picture of it. But the Dollar Tree, and it has it, they put the little sticker on there, so it's kind of annoying. But they now have wireless Bluetooth earbuds or earphones. Sorry, they're five dollars, yeah. and they put the little sticker. You just peel it off, but they look super sharp. I got some in my car. I've been putting them in my prize locker, but I've been putting those in there, and they're only five dollars. Um, but then I put something else in there because I feel like you know one uh, if it's only five dollar earphones. But they they look nice, but I put something else in there, like so some these... a bigger jumbo plush. If you order them from Eva, they're five dollars and sixty-eight cents each. Wow! <gasps> no way! Order, yeah, and she has mini Game Boys that are in that are just like these mini Game Boys wow. that are eight eight something a piece, eight dollars and something I'm, a piece. So Eva, is that where you also you got it from AliExpress on the? Uh, yeah, I did AliExpress on these just because I needed them right away, so I ordered them. But um, I wonder if Eva has those too. She does. She has, but she has both of oh, these. I don't know if she has these, but she has the Nintendos and the Game Boys. They're mini Game Boys. Wow. So. I need to order some of those. My next order. I like that a lot. Yeah. I might express chip some actually to get them in because I got uh, a whole bunch of Mega Minis coming in. Um, I'm actually going to message her right now. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right. We're making deals over here, guys. Making deals. All right, PA Pokemon Poll says that Best Buy has the best deals on Pokemon boxes. And I was actually just in my Best Buy looking uh, for one recently, too. And they did have some pretty good prices on some of those Pokemon boxes. But Man, I can't they... tell you the last time I was in a Best Buy. Like, really? I, don't... I love that store. The only one we have is like an hour away from us. so we uh, don't. Well, you know, well that we would don't... make more sense. Yeah, yeah, I've got one like, you know, down the street. 
Right. <laughs> <laughs> but like, you know, I just, I just, uh, I'm, I'm running everything on a whole new computer now. So I was using a laptop for these live streams and for my video editing. And I just made the upgrade. I got like a bunch of RAM, a bunch of, a bunch of stuff, all new, like, uh, SSD hard drives and everything. So I'm good to go. So I'm, wow. I'm, my speed's much better now. And I bought a lot of the stuff that I needed like quickly at Best Buy. So I'm your lucky. internet's glitchy tonight, David. Yeah. It's a little yeah. Uh, it's, it's the country. <laughs> Should I try switching my internet to the other service just to see? Maybe I'm not so glitchy. On it's, up the other it's up to you. It's up to you. You're just, you're just real, real blurry tonight. Uh, let me try switching over. Give me a second. Uh, um, I, I feel like we've been drinking talking to you. you know? Yeah, we still have an hour left, buddy. So you got, yeah, you got, yeah, you got, you got plenty of time if you if you do want to try it out. Good. All right. Um. So what else do we want to talk about? It's uh basically the top of the hour. Now would be a good time to talk about the giveaway. Yeah. So um, he took off, so I'll do it, I guess. All right. Let's go for it. <laughs> So we have teamed up with AZ Amusements. Uh, it is Matt from Galaxy Games, David from Extreme Vending, uh, us, the Howard Hospitality Group, and Quick Play. We've all teamed up with AZ Amusements to give you the chance to win a Galaxy claw machine, which is a medium-sized 24-inch claw machine uh, with dual coin max, uh, super nice machine, beautiful machine, and... Um, it's really easy to enter. All you need to do is join the Discord, and in the Discord, there is a channel just for the giveaway. You just click that channel, fill out the form, you're in. That's it. Um, and really basic, and we're just trying to build our Discord. We're trying to get as many people in there as we can, and so um, this helps us build our Discord, and then it also um, helps you guys, you know, a lot of those people see the Galaxy, because, I mean, it's just a cool machine. Such so, a cool machine. Yeah, and it's named after one of our favorite friends. So <laughs> you definitely need one. And uh, yeah, so it's that simple. And thank you so much. I mean, it's a two thousand dollar prize plus free shipping to your to your location. I mean, you can't beat it. It's just awesome. So thank you, Grant from AZ Amusements, for doing that with us and for Quick Play, even though they're not here, for helping us promote it because it's 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 awesome. So, heck yeah! Heck cool. yeah! All right. Thanks so much for that, Jonathan. We did have a no super problem. chat come in as you were going through that from Mulberry Vending. Thanks oh, for the super nice. chat. Says, you all are awesome. I appreciate the help, but I'm logging off early tonight. Super tired. So I'm enjoy your fine. rest. Enjoy your rest. Thank you for the super chat. Appreciate you very much. All right. So what's on tap, guys? What do you guys got coming up video-wise? Let's talk about that. So like Anything? I said, I've got... Um, I'm trying to get Kevin. I haven't asked him again. I, I got to get him to do uh, meet the industry with me because I really nice. need to do that. I'm going to try to do one with Grant. I'm going to try to do one with um, Claw Kicker and get all of them in and get those done. And then we're trying to do a review on the Galaxy um, and get that in. And then, um, but yeah, that's what we're working on. So good stuff. That's David, what, um, what's on the way for you? So I got, uh, I'm probably going to work on the, the video I've been teasing about for a while um, of that location where I did a big collection from. And then I also did the All-Star unboxing. And I got to tell you, what's great about boxing from all, uh, All-Star all is there's no jump scares. So <laughs> <laughs> that right. made me really happy. But um, you know what's funny, one, David? Not to interrupt what? you, but if you order the full-size plush like we did for our big claw machine, there is yeah. that. You get those. So you just get so those. You know, there's jump scares in this. Yeah. Oh, so. okay. <laughs> well, you know. well, um, anyways, I got a couple of shorts I'm working on. I'm real excited because I've been thinking about doing a video and maybe I should wait a little bit on it. Uh, but uh, going over my finances in the, in the sense to kind of encourage people to see what my, where I've, because you're talking about where I began uh, three and a half years ago. I remember I was so excited. My first collection was a few hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. and, and and I was thinking about it and I was talking about this with my wife. And now I'm at the point where it's like, oh, my gosh, I can make up to $1,000 in one day now. I hit that milestone, by the way, of $1,000 in one day. Yes. And it's just like Congrats it's so crazy. Yeah. And so I'm like, my goodness, I, I, I need to make a video and just kind of like show people the power of ending and encourage them to go ahead and get started and get going with it and stuff and and make the right choices like get a credit card reader on their machine and stuff which by the way 
uh, they just barely sent out my 15 Nyx readers. And it was so funny because <laughs> I was checking my status and my 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 offlines and stuff. All of a sudden, I see 15 offline. And I just let you guys know I have 20 Nyx readers out there. So the first thing that went through my mind is three quarters of my route is offline. And no, they tricked me. It was uh, I got 15 new readers on the way, and they already linked it to my account. So that that was good. <laughs> so, so it sounds like their their uh, their service or the response time is definitely increasing. So that's a good thing. That's good to know. Yeah, yeah. It was a little bit scary. Like uh, there was a few things that happened, but uh, it, I got my 15 coming, and uh, you know, uh, it's nice to have. What really makes Nyax uh, uh, better is actually just having Gopher in the Discord. He actually yes, for helped sure. me out, straighten out some things. But uh, <clears throat> Yeah, he's definitely a, a really great resource. And I, I think I saw him in the chat here a little while ago. I'm not sure if he's still here, but uh, we, we super appreciate his help. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, sure. Gopher. I always, if you guys ever have like any issues, Gopher does it for free. <clears throat> he works for Nyax, but he's doing this, his normal job, plus helping out us for free. So if you ever uh, get some service with him, think about considering me possibly sending him a little tip. He has oh, a little yeah, for sure, right. for sure. Yeah, I always do that. I always appreciate go Gopher 100% because Gopher's actually, uh, he, he customized my Nyx readers where I get the sales that I do, and I owe a lot of my success to Gopher uh, for helping me out on the settings because my Nyx readers were all messed up until he I got He has a buy me a coffee, right? Isn't that what it was? Yeah, buymeacoffee.com. He He calls it the Buy Me a Pizza, but it's the Buy Me a Coffee website. And uh, he has a link and stuff. So support his channel. Or or his, not channel, his his, uh, coffee buying website. (laughs) Get that boy some coffee, for sure. Yeah. (laughs) All right. Oh, these Um, are them. Oh, yeah. Eva just. There you go. I'm going to ask her what she charges. Good. Yeah, find out. All right. So those are available through our Discord with Eva in our Discord. So find find the Eva channel in our there Discord server. Yeah. Sweet. If you want to get man. yourself some Pokeball cool. earbuds. There you go. I'm sure the kids will love those. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. So they for me, cool. I've got some cool videos on the way. Some some things that were a little bit different than what I normally do. I've got, of course, vending videos on the way, but there's that secret mission video coming. Uh it's actually done. I've actually it's pre-scheduled. Uh, so it's going to be on the way. It's going to be one of the bonus videos I, th- I think I have it set up as. So you're just going to have to watch the channel to see what the secret mission video is. So that's pretty cool. Also, another one of the bonus videos coming up is the work on that Donkey Kong Jr. arcade machine that is done. It's ready to go. It's uh, up and running and fully fully redone, which is pretty cool. So that's another video on the way. I've got multiple collection videos. We're going to go check out Restaurant Depot in a video coming up too. So that's pretty cool. Nice. Um, you'll have to see how that is. I thought you know, it might be comparable to places like Sam's Club or Costco when it comes to restaurant supplies. And I wanted to see how that would compare to vending businesses. So that video is on the way. That's already pre-scheduled as well. So that's coming out in the next couple of weeks. So there's lots of good stuff on the way coming from my channel. But the one thing I don't have coming right now is the flea market collection. So that's going to be further out. So it will come, though, but further out. Good. All right. PA Pokemon Pool says, hey, Matt, you're going to go to that new arcade or museum in Girard that I was telling you about on your Ohio stop. Yes, I plan on going there and possibly filming a video there. I need to talk to the owner and make sure it's okay to film there. Uh, But again, I can't imagine places like that would discourage free promotion so so uh definitely gonna go check it out but basically um this place opened up in like one of the neighboring towns to my hometown that's got like all kinds of classic arcade and pinball machines like a very large place and i hope to be able to film some content there for the channel i think it'd be really cool go do some gameplay kind of stuff there and 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 go check it out um so we'll see what happens um that might be on the way but we're definitely going to be making videos on our travels so watch for those videos guys Good. All right. So a couple of people said hello again in the comments. Um, let's see here. I saw, and I don't know if I'm saying this right, but it looks like I'm going to say CO vending. It says hi, GG843. Hey, I hope I'm saying that right. CO vending or silo vending, maybe. I don't know. It's tough to tell on, on the screens here if it's silo or CO. Mm. I don't know. I'm going to say silo because now on this screen, it looks like silo, but on the regular chat screen, it's a little bit more tough to tell. So I'm going to say it's silo. I hope, hopefully, I'm saying that right. Yeah, he says silo vending. Perfect. Well, hey, thanks for joining us tonight. Appreciate you being here. 
And let's see, Jawbone is here. Jawbone uh, has been talking in the comments. So thanks, Jawbone, for being here. Appreciate you being here. And let's see, P Pokemon Pool says that there's pinball machines at this location from the 30s Damn. made in Youngstown. So if you didn't know, I'm from Youngstown, Ohio. And Youngstown has kind of had some, uh, some ties to, let's say, organized crime activity, things like that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I'm sure a lot of these pinball machines that are especially from the 30s were the kind that were gambling devices, as you can imagine. So we'll go check those out and see if those are on display, because I guess it's kind of like half museum, half arcade or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I'll definitely get some pictures and maybe put that kind of stuff up on my channel's community tab if you want to see that, that kind of stuff. Uh, more on the way, though. We'll see what happens. We'll see if they'll let us take pictures or film or do that kind of stuff in that place. So we'll see what happens. But yeah. All right. What other comments do we have here? I know we missed a bunch of comments as we were been going through it tonight, guys. So I'm sorry if we missed any of your comments. If there's something that you want to address, make sure you repost it in the chat so that way we can get to it. I know when we were going through um, all those flatline examples, I know we missed a bunch of comments then. So I'm just going to kind of scroll around for a bit and look to see if there's anything we want to call out. Hey, uh, Jonathan, you said $30 for those earbuds? Those Pokemon that's earbuds. You, yeah, that's what if you buy them at AliExpress, they were like yeah. thirty. I think okay. they're. She she quoted me. Now this is before shipping, mind you, but seventeen. Wow, that's, that's awesome. Pretty good. Yeah, there yeah. Go. I'm looking at the imagery. I'm gonna put this on. Does she have them in the I'm box, just... like the ones that I have, where it comes with the box? Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's got a bo here. I'll, I'll send you a picture. On the, okay. I'll, I'll message you guys on. A, come on, Allie, wait. There we go. And those would go really well in prize lockers too. Yeah. Yes. Like yeah. that's a pretty good size box, be, right? For prize lockers. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Yeah, perfect. Like I really like them. Um, yeah. I'm gonna send this under the Discord. Get it better. Can't see my picture here. Let's see. Like <laughs> it looks good to me. Yeah. There we go. And then, so be this way. <laughs> yep, right? You got them upside down now. Oh, sorry. Way. This way. Yep, just like that. Okay. Those look really good. Yeah. Have you have you opened them by chance? Do you have one? No, that I left. Okay. I haven't opened any. I just left I, them in the box. I wouldn't open them either. But I just wondered how how much of a difference in size they, those are from the case of the Pokeball case compared to the Pokeball capsules that we all use. Because oh. like how how cool would that be to like mix one of those in and like have oh, one lucky yeah. winner? You know what I mean? Yeah. End up with those instead of just a character. That'd be pretty cool if they were about the same size. We've been know. doing really good with keychains. Like we bought a bunch of keychains in our last order, and those have been going like crazy. We got really? like little, little Nike keychains and Starbucks keychains, and a bunch of those, and SpongeBob and stuff. And the kids are just going absolutely. It was really cool that we did the fairs, and I know that it was a lot of work and stuff. But it, we actually got to see people. We've seen a few people play our machines, but not on like that kind of scale, you know, where it was like nonstop people playing your machines. Yeah. And it was neat just to see what they got excited about because you don't really know. You know, you're not there to see when they go, oh, look at the so and so or look at that or whatever. And the keychains were a big hit. So those did really good in the minis. And then, um, like those things that David had, like those weird balls and then the cush, you know, the cushy balls or whatever those are called. The, um, I think that's what they're called, Kush balls. But Kush balls, those kind yeah. of things. And then we had little SpongeBob figures, and I mean all kinds of stuff. And that's what people liked. And then we we're just we were really surprised. So good. There's a lot of neat stuff. Absolutely, that's cool. Yeah, I I'm gonna have to look into some of those keychains. Do you put those in in like just actual like the the claw machines? Grab those. Or are you putting them in capsules? No, I'm putting them in just there. And the only thing that I've noticed is like sometimes. You know, they don't get all the way over into the hole, so they kind of hang on the edge. Yeah. But that kind of makes it more fun. Because sure. then they're like, oh, and they're like, you know, so they kind of <laughs> right, get, right, get right. it, you know, so they get even more excited about it. They're like, oh, you know, I almost had it. And so that was the only thing we noticed is sometimes they kind of fall over, you know, over the lip and don't get all the way over. And, but people thought that was, they were really cool. So some yeah. have little bells on them. And I mean, I don't know. They're neat. They're neat stuff. So I'll have to send you some pictures. And they're really cheap. So yeah, for sure. For sure. Absolutely. All right. I uh, do want to highlight a super chat that came in from Timothy Northrup says getting more people and updating Aldi's. I thought we're still, uh, still nice. working on that deal. That's cool. That's good to know. Nice. Thanks, Yay. Timothy, for the super chat. We appreciate that. Yeah, thank you so much. Too. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for the update. 
I know that's going to be a really good deal if we can get that uh, that all worked out for sure. I know yeah. a lot of us would love to get some machines into Aldi's for sure. So that's really cool. Uh, what else do we got? Um, PA Pokemon Pools is asking Jonathan a question. Wants to know, did those jumbo cards fit in the front of your machine? Did you try that out? So I haven't tried them yet. So they're still in the package. That's kind of what I was going to show earlier. I was looking for them, but I forgot I took them out to go to go test them and i um so they're actually out in our kit ready to go out to one of our sticker machine locations so i haven't tried them yet but they're they're there in the car or in the kit in the car to go out to to try them out so no i haven't but I've, they've gotten from me being in, you know here at the house and not opening it to now actually in the car opened ready to go so <laughs> ready to go sorry it's just been it's been kind of crazy but yeah it's it, we're gonna test them out for you they're the big ones. You've seen those, right? Yeah, they're like they're yeah. like promotional cards, aren't they? Or yeah, like, like the like when you buy the box, they're like you know usually a jumbo card in the front of the box or something like that. Yeah, that's what they are. So he wants to see if they'll if they'll fit in there. I think they're a little bit wide, but I'm not sure. We'll wait and see. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know. It's cool. I, I mean, we're, I think we're all interested to see how those are going to look. Though I bet those will look awesome in the machine if they do fit. Yeah, for sure. All right, uh, what else we got? Hero 3's here, says, I'm here. Hey, Hero 3. Hey, Hero 3. <laughs> we can officially get started with the live stream now that Hero oh, nice. 3's here. Thank you for joining us. Appreciate <laughs> you being here. All right, guys, let's remind you, if you haven't done so yet, make sure you hit that like button, help other people find the live stream. You know, it really does help other people join us and helps the live stream continue to grow. So thank you for being here. And if you haven't done so yet, smash that like button. Are you guys liking this back on Wednesdays? Let us know in the comments. It's something that uh, we seem to get a better response from. It. I'm seeing yeah. more viewers in here tonight, more uh, more interaction in the comments on Wednesdays. I I think we all prefer to do them on Wednesdays too. So I think this is just going to be the way it is if you guys are okay with that out there. Hopefully you are. Good. All right. Uh, we got a couple more questions coming in. Where uh, Here's one from Mini Claw Vending. Uh, says I started my business over here in Mexico. Do you have? Do you guys have any advice? I have two locations already. Yeah, that's oh, awesome. Doing good. Nice. Sounds like you're doing just fine. Yeah. How many machines do you have? Yeah, I mean you've already got two locations. You, and I'm assuming you've got machines in those locations. That's really great. Yeah. Use right. that money to buy. Use all your profits to buy more machines. <laughs> Roll it. <is laughs> that's my I advice. Use that yeah. profit yeah. to buy more machines. And make even more money. Yeah, that's cool. That's what type awesome. of machines do you have? If you have machines, and, yeah, let us know uh, in the comments. You're running. I'm guessing. I'm guessing he's got mini claws, being his name is mini claw vending. Yeah, but you never know. Maybe he's got some bulk right. stuff too. You never know. Right. So, man, what kind of advice would you give Jonathan? Just get the. Well, I, we don't know the Mexico market, but I imagine anything with lots of kids and lots of traffic. Lots of if it's anything mm-hmm. like our restaurants do, I mean, our Mexican restaurants do really well. Like we have one that does over two hundred dollars a week in just one restaurant. So that I can imagine that they, I mean, they love them. I mean, it's just, it's just great. And so I would think they would do awesome down there. I mean, it would. Yeah. Just be, it seems like it would just be. They would yeah. do great. So I, I would just put them everywhere that there's people. That would be the best thing. You know, if it's a grocery store or restaurant or. Man, if you could get them like even in some of the hotels, you know, not hotels, but like the resorts, like that's what I was thinking, like Cancun. And if you're in yeah, that area, yeah. kids are like there and they got nothing to do besides swim and, you know, play with the claw machines. So, I mean, that'd be a great place too. But it's a great way to think of it. Yeah. Yeah. And he, he does say, he, he gave us a new comment. He says, I've got many claw machines. I saw that is great and easy to manage. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. That's good. Congratulations you, on that. Yeah, right. that's awesome. For sure. That's cool. Are you in the Discord? Because we want to see pictures of this. This is awesome. Yeah, if you're not in the Discord, make sure you join us in there for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, I like to. I like to see more about this. This would be interesting because we don't know anyone in the Mexico market yet. At least I don't. Wouldn't you love to live down there, man? And like, and like, have a machine on the beach, on the beach all day. I long. remember going over there in Mexico, and I spent all my allowance on fireworks. Because <laughs> here in Arizona, you can't have fireworks, you know. And yeah, so, uh, I've got all those oh, things here in South Carolina. We've got fireworks and the beach here in South Carolina. Oh my goodness! Not well, they have firecrackers Man. now, like the basic fire sparkler ones, but that's about it now. But that was a big deal passing that uh, proposition or whatever. Yeah. Um, 
but we're not allowed to have fireworks and I really want fireworks. Oh no, we can, we can get it all here in South Carolina. Like if like, like we put on like, like actual professional displays here on the holidays sometimes. Oh Oh, my goodness. It's funny. My, my, actually my, my, my subdivision here, we, we have a, we're we're kind of a close group of, of people because all of us are from somewhere else. We're all transplants. So on, on a lot of those holidays, we all kind of get together and celebrate together because all of our families live other places. And uh, we haven't these past couple of years because the prices have just gotten so expensive as you can imagine. But yeah. for many years, we were all we would all pitch in and go to the fireworks stores and just load up. Yeah. And we would put on some really professional displays. Like it was awesome. I've got some videos cool. somewhere. I'll just I'll have to send you guys sometime. I sure. love blowing crap up. Dude. It's so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> like I was like, more. I was really the more. Cool I'll, I'll, I'll help. I'll help buy some stuff, and then I'll do all the filming of it as they oh, blow the stuff up. Not me, man. I always <laughs> watch the little. I'll be lighting it all. They would they you light the little tank and then they're like little cars tanks yes and they'll yes. they'll push for a little bit and then they stop and, and then they start, start sparking firing little yeah, sparkles yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> I was like no way that's so cool for sure not in California man I'm sure it's not like, in California nope yeah not in California or Arizona Mm-mm. well it's it's big time fired. It, it's actually quite quite funny like the week or two before the Fourth of July and the week or two before new year's like every parking lot has a trailer set up with fireworks and and of course we've got designated fireworks stores too oh, but like you can you can't go like a quarter mile and not see a place to buy fireworks here in south carolina uh, especially <sighs> a, a, around those two holidays it's crazy they're all over the place literally everywhere it's like it's pushed on you buy fireworks <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty funny all right, a couple more questions. Uh, what have we got? Ryan B eighteen oh three wants to know how long does it take after Mega Minis get to the port in the U.S. to deliver to your house? So oh, extreme. Boy. You probably got the answer to this one. Well, uh, it really depends on your luck and such, and it depends where you're at. So I live in Arizona, so California, the port's like four hundred miles away from me, yeah. almost. And uh, mine just hit on the 29th of May. So was that like a, just over a week in two days? Week nine days. Yeah. 10 days Mm -hmm. and i just got a message yesterday that the uh, warehouse people uh picked up my machines and they're ready to deliver they're going to set up a day with me so it's usually about two weeks maybe three weeks for on average however last time when i got my machines uh, it seemed like they got to my container last it just seemed like it dragged on forever and uh then the what made it worse is the warehouse people that were supposed to deliver (coughs) to me the first they set up a day and the first day got canceled because the driver's car broke, truck broke down. The next day they were supposed to deliver and they were behind because that truck driver uh, and they chose me as the delaying me again. And so it took three more days on top of everything else. But I would say once it hits port, uh, two to three weeks. Is what on the average, thinking. yeah, for sure. Yeah, on the average. Good. All right. Well, good, good info. We got another question for you, too. This one's from Drexel LTG. Says... Um, David, how did you think your name? Is there any meaning to it? Extreme vending or my name, David? Yeah, I'm, guessing, David I'm, ge- come from? I'm guessing extreme vending. <laughs> because David's <laughs> beloved, right? And it's from the Bible. Uh, but extreme vending. So, uh, Delwig, Delwig is probably not in this, in this video, but so Delwig and I, uh, we used to play a lot of video games when we were younger, and we would just destroy people in online gaming back when online gaming was new. You know, the younger people are coming in and the older people are trying to get into computers and at that time internet was really young and so we had such an advantage we were so quick and we would just win in every fps game all the games and we would get kicked out of all these clans that were going around because these clan members would get mad at us because we were too good and they're a bunch of older people and they thought we were cheating a lot of times so we decided to come up with our own clan name and we started this extreme casualty rate xcr and so we just played video games until about um when I got married, I started, you know, slowing down with the video games. I don't really play that much anymore. But we still had our little clan. I'd go on there every once in a while and play with people, Call of Duty, whatever. And I just decided, you know, uh, I'll make a business with Extreme in it. And so four years ago when I started this, I'm like, well, I'll just make Extreme Vending instead of Extreme Casualty Rate. So I kind of kept my video game. Uh, if you see in Discord, I'm known as Slick in Discord. That's yep. my gamer tag is Slick, so... Yeah, so just I, based on yeah, that. I never understood that. I never knew never knew where that came from. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, so that's where it came from. For the first time in like six months, I think I'm gonna try to play some Call of Duty tonight. Finally. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
Man, I, know I think the last time I played a game but... like that was probably on the original Xbox. Wow. Oh, yeah, so, that was a good console. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we should good. all try to download and play Call of Duty one day. I, I would be so bad. And like I, the last game I would be I so worse was Modern Warfare 3. <laughs> You guys remember Modern Warfare 3? That was the last one I played. Well, it's funny because the other day Sam and I went on there, and the one thing that we went for some reason, like, you know, there's like a little store and they have a bunch of free games or whatever. And like they were doing like a sale on arcade, you know, where they what are they called? Emulators or whatever, you know, yeah, where they yeah, actually they think yeah. they, and so we ended up getting those. So that's what we were playing. We were playing, you know, like um uh ghouls and ghosts and like you know like um Rygar and like all these games you haven't seen in like a long time. And yeah, I was like, oh yeah. My God. He had never seen them before, so I was showing him like, "Oh, dude, I used to play this in the arcade all the time," and so that was kind of fun. It was like one of those moments you get to spend with your kids, where you're like, "This is what I used to do." You know? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and, with so, Arthur, yeah. they're probably like, "Yeah, yeah, this is lame," but I'm gonna go with it because it's what you're yeah. into. Yeah, he was probably going like, "Where's the good graphics?" You know, I don't know what he was. That was good like, graphics. I love yeah. those graphics. Like, Ghost of Goblins it. had great graphics. Yeah, yeah I know cool. that game is so tough. That game is very so tough. Hard. Very hard. tough. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking, the, I think the last first-person shooter game I played on the Xbox was probably like Rainbow Six or something like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Rainbow that's, Six. That's the last, the last I thing those. I played. Those were good. I those was never really... I, I was never any good because I would go on Xbox Live and just get killed all the time. So yeah. it was not fun for me, as you can imagine. So I'll stick with my classic Donkey Kong arcade machine and just keep, keep winning at that. So that's what we'll do. <laughs> we've been on this arcade kick because we're still trying to open one and so we've just been looking at all these arcade games and stuff i know and you it. showed the me the picture of the uh, well you showed galaxy games and me i didn't see it until later because i was driving and cruising was like, exotica oh, i know yeah. all the cruising to, games are good they're all good i got to play yeah i got to play cruising world today uh at one of, at the mini golf place because i stopped there and I was doing a collection, and I was waiting for the guy to pay him out. So I went on, the, and there was a credit on the game, so I got to play Cruising World. Free game, there we go. It was fun. So free I game. I love those games, man. They're so much fun. They are. So that's what we like to hear. Good. All right, Mini Claw also sharing some information says I did also started my YouTube channel, and I have to say, all of you inspired me to start my Mini Claw vending machine business. I really do appreciate you guys do for all vendors oh cool nice let well, everybody what, know what your channel yeah. is put, yeah, it put, in the, put your, your channel comments. in the comments yeah, put your I, channel in the comments. I, I, I did he did have a question about the this the discord too he says i tried getting into the discord but i'm not sure how much it costs actually discord's free. It's free there is a premium option if you if you're interested in that but it's not required the right. discord is free yeah we got like 1500 1600 members whatever 1700 yeah. members and we only have like 20 premium premium members that's yeah, an so optional thing just an option to... exactly good all right uh what else do we got venbot says extreme disrupting the old school way of doing things and upsetting the old crowd sounds like today in vending yeah yes, it does it does sound like today in vending especially if you were in the nbva with us <laughs> <laughs> man that was yeah, so we funny. really shit we all got this year didn't we yeah. wow Wow. Yeah. I can't wait till guys. next year when everyone shows up and we bring in a big crowd uh, because yeah. all these people are becoming successful from online YouTube vending and such. Heck yeah. I mean, I think we, I think we kind of turned it on its side. Now we'll just turn it all, the rest of the way over next year. Yeah, right? yeah let's, let's just do it over, and yeah. give them a little belly rub in front of them. <laughs> I don't know. I yeah. So it looks like Delwig is here. Uh, he did say, let, let me find it. He says, LOL XRC old days. There we go. Uh, our memories. Love it. And yeah. then he says he, he also has 1,800 hours in Rainbow Six Siege. I, I'm probably Ooh. matched with uh, Delwig on that, or maybe. I don't know. We did that together. We were really good together. We always win a lot and did a lot of fun times. Delwig was clutch. I used to love that game, that and Ghost Recon, and I used to play those like yeah. crazy. Those yeah. were really really good games they were that's games. that's where i got started and that's also where i ended too i didn't yeah. I, I never got into any of the newer stuff or anything after that yeah it's funny because you know it's a five on five and there'd be times where we get kind of carried away and delic's like you guys gotta hunker down if you're defending and delic would be the last one alive 1v5 and delic would clutch it all the time he, he hunker down what, 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 was he was he camping 
<laughs> well, well, no, this is like you're supposed to defend an objective or a hostage or whatever. So you're yeah. not supposed to roam so much. And yeah, and we would all roam around, get a little carried away, and sometimes we get picked off. And it's just Doug versus five of them, and Doug would be like the only one left alive. And I can't tell you how many times he's won the match for us uh, because he was actually smart and playing the objective and not being dumb like well, there us you go. joking around. Yeah, Doug well, was funny. That's cool. There you go. All right. Um. Here's a here's a question from Silo Vending. Says I meant, do you have any advice trying to find a place for a single slot? I've tried lots of places. Running into corporate companies not considering me. Being a kid, it's tough. So Jonathan, do you have any advice for him as as working with Amelia, who's obviously a lot younger, and Sam, and Sam older. too, who's mm -hmm. a little bit older. But I'm not exactly sure Silo's age. But um, it sounds like he's running into issues due to his age or their age i think that personally i think that there's a few things that helped them not just because they're kids you know i mean they're cute and and whatever but i think that they have their own llc they have their own insurance mm -hmm. um and they're serious about what they do and i think that that is the way they approach the business is that you know we you know they tell them that we have our own business and they're like oh ho, ho, ho. and then they're like no really like we've got this 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 and this and we check it every week and this is what we do and this is how many locations I have and these are the big locations that I do and like they handle all that and so being younger is actually better I think for for him to get into vending because you're a young kid trying to get started trying to start a business and having insurance in your LLC shows you're serious about what you're doing and it's cheap it's $25 a month for insurance the links in our discord yeah. And your LLC costs you nothing. I think there may be some states charge a filing fee of like 20 bucks or something, but that's it. And then you're serious and you have your own business. And the, and the only, I think some states, we got this in the discord the other day, but some states you have to have your parents sign certain contracts, but you never sure, really deal sure. with that. So, I mean, you don't, you, you should be able to start an LLC at any age almost and be serious about it. You know, be, be, be confident when you go in there and, and, and say, I want to do this. This is, this i'm serious you know and yeah they One, take by the time they're done talking they're taking them serious you know but at first they're like oh that's so great blah 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 yeah well you know i don't really you know no, it's like no really let me show you let, you know then they keep going and yeah and and yeah i think being young is is not something that's going to hurt you i think it's going to help you i think it's you know like if you or me matt yeah. are trying to go find locations on our own it's a lot harder for us being like, oh, there's some old guy trying to stick a machine in here. Yeah. You, know <laughs> I mean? you know what I mean? Like, like who the hell Right, right. One know, thing, too, like, I see in your comment is you're saying you keep running into corporate companies not considering you. Have you thought about really just kind of focusing on, like, mom and pop and locally owned places? Those are going to be your better option right, right now, support. especially while you're maybe maybe a smaller vending company. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, get focus, on the, shops, focus on the your... service that you can provide, focus on things like that. And plus two, like, I think a lot of places like those, those mom and pop cell phone businesses maybe might see a younger version of themselves in you right. when you approach them like that and therefore 100%. maybe give you a better chance or a, a better opportunity in that yeah. case. Or I wish my kids would have done this. You know what I mean? I, right, that's the other right, thing that goes right. through their head is like, man, my kid sits on his butt at home and plays video games, you know, being the extreme wrecking crew and, and you know, and you're out here <laughs> selling, you know what I mean? Like, so yes. it's, 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 it's a whole different thing when you got some kid that's young that's, that's trying to do something for themselves and better themselves versus sitting on their butt at home. And, you know, and that's something you could even use when you're approaching people saying, all my friends are sitting at home and I'm out here trying to make money. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is what I'm trying to do, but... You're right. I mean, the Mexican restaurants, the 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 um, ice cream shops, the boba shops, all those aren't corporate. So go yeah. hit those. You know, yeah. those I, I would stay away from corporate for the time being. In fact, yeah. like like myself, even, even me, I, I don't think I have any like real corporate locations. I think they're all like local places. Yeah, for the most part. Well, I think the only reason that Amelia gets into those locations is because she has other ones. You know, yeah, she got course, lucky enough course. to find the right one to start her off. And that that's why she gets the other ones, but otherwise they wouldn't have even considered her. And I think being 11 helped her a lot too. Like that's part of it too. But imagine some, you know, being a corporation and, and some young kid comes in here and says, I want to put a claw machine. It's like, well, how many, how many do you have? Like, One. And it's like, well, I don't know if we're going to, you know, put that in all of our stores and stuff. So I yeah. can see where they're coming from, but 
be serious about it. And I don't know, somebody, I just saw a comment that says 425 in Vegas for a filing fee for LLC. Yeah, I, saw, I did right? see that too. I'm not sure if that's, if that's true. That's, I don't, I think you're looking extreme. at a company that's doing it for you. Maybe, I don't yeah. think they would, may I'm wrong, but I don't I know mean, why they would. You know, everything's expensive in Vegas, so you never know. That's but, true, I guess. But, but, but it would be the state of Nevada, not the city of Las Vegas that would be your right. filing. Yeah, but right. I don't know. And, I wouldn't think they. I think he's going looking at those companies like when you type in get like an Legal LLC, Zoom. Oh yeah, Legal Zoom or what's the other one? There's another one. Don't go through those companies. Do it on your own. It's not hard. You can file the paperwork yourself. You don't need right, those people. Right. So yeah, I do got to jump ahead for just a second. Sweet Treat King's here with a super chat. Thanks, Sweet Treat King. Oh, Says sorry, treat. I keep missing these. I got a huge shipment in. Nice. There you nice. go. Nice. There you go. That's what we like to hear. If you guys are looking for toys, he's your man. He's That's got right. lots of good stuff. Sweet Treat King also in the Discord. If you uh, want to see what all he has available, that's pretty cool. Make sure you join the Discord in order to find all that cool discounts and stuff like that. Uh, I saw another one from Mini Claw Vending about joining the Discord. He says, how do I join? And my YouTube channel is Mini Claw Vending, but it's in Spanish because oh, no. I wanted to help people over here in Mexico start their own businesses as well. Oh, cool. That's cool. Yeah, that's that's it's very cool. cool. Um, how do you join the Discord? It's actually the the link is in the description of this live stream. You yeah. should just be able to click on that and join. It should be pretty simple. Yeah. So go ahead and scroll on down to the uh, description, click on that link, and then you are good to go. I got Google Translate Mini. Ah. Uh. Oh, I do. I did see this. That we we missed this comment. Silo vending says, "I'm already in Red Robin. That's really cool. Have, have nice. you guys gone to Red Robin? Like in the waiting area, they have those games and machines. At least the the ones I go to mm. have games and machines in like the waiting area. That's that has to be a really good spot to be in. That's yeah. really cool that you're in there. What kind of machines do you have inside the Red Robin? Let us know in the comments. I think that's pretty cool. There you go. All right. There's a couple uh, more LLC comments coming in. Let's jump up to those since we're talking about that now. Um, red Robin? You made yeah. into a Red Robin? Yeah, he's in Red Robin. That's really cool. We've been trying to get in those too. That's I know. Crazy. I want awesome. to Red Robin. <laughs> there we go. Hey, look who just joined us too. Hi, Mays here. Hey. Hey, Hi, Mays. Hi, says, Mays. location? Says, says, sup, guys. Here? Hope business is booming for everyone. Yeah, did you get that claw machine? Yeah. Let us know. know. Let us know how what that's going for you. machine was it? Was it the, the Super Mini Golden House? I'm not sure which one he was getting or which one he was waiting to arrive, but I know uh, he said he was going to go ahead and do it. So I hope that's going well for you. Hope yeah, you got it placed. Too. You Very should cool. have it by now. Yeah, I would think you would have it by now. Mm -hmm. um, Kim Huff does say you can YouTube on how to get your LLC for free. Uh, I'm sure there's videos out there that walk you through the whole process. Because, yeah, you, you can go through places like LegalZoom, but they're going to charge you a bunch of money to do it. But most of the yeah. time you can do it for free or with a very small filing fee directly with your state or something like that. So there's uh, lots of information out there on how to do that at a very low cost or even no cost. So go check those out. Good. All right. Uh, Sweet Tree King talked about some of the things he got in stock. He says 20 centimeter and 40 centimeter flip octopus is available. Come see his channel on the Discord. There we go. And then it looks like Jaime's still waiting for that uh, machine to arrive. He says, got it ordered, but I don't know if it had shipped yet. Was it so, from Kenny Machines then? I don't know. I, I, I think know. it might be a Kenny Machine then. So it I hope be. he gets it soon. I know, because uh, I think that would make a pretty cool video, Jaime. That'd be, that'd it be would. Awesome. I'd be yeah. so excited to see that. Heck yeah, for sure. Jaime, let us know. Do you got any, any videos on the way that we should be watching out for? Obviously, you don't have to tell us what, what's going to happen in the video, but you have any in, in the works right now? Let us know. That's pretty cool. And also, how's your laundromat doing? The, like that machine you got wrapped. I, I wonder how that's doing. I bet that's doing pretty good. That looked like a really cool spot. All right, Susan talking about Nevada LLC. She says the 425 Nevada LLC cost breakdown is as follows. $75 for articles of organization, $200 for the state business license, and $100 for the initial list of managers or managing members. So part of it, that includes your business license. So that's why the cost is high. Yeah. 
So it's not technically just to file the LLC. It looks like that that sounds like a whole package of things for you. Yeah, that's, not just the I LLC. Think that's probably through a company, isn't it? Or is that I don't know if that's uh, uh I don't know. I don't know. But don't know. but it also includes your business license, which uh, like like for for me in in South Carolina, that was a separate charge. So Yeah. That was different from my LLC. Um but she says it's all required for starting an LLC in Nevada. So it's not just the LLC. It's all that extra stuff included with it too. So Right. I guess uh, I guess that's how Nevada makes their money. Still, sure, I mean, if you sure figure, making, a, I mean, making a lot of it in Las Vegas, that's for sure. And you'll make a lot of that back quick in a claw machine. So oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I mean, the right location will pay that off in, well, in some of these guys' cases, less than a week. Yeah, so maybe, <laughs> you know, start off with the small mom and pops and then get the money to start your LLC and then go hit those big guys, you know, with your, with your LLC and your insurance and stuff. Then get everything ready and get some experience and then, you know, hit them. Again. Yeah. I think that's important what you said there, insurance too. You make sure you guys have insurance. You do not want to get sued over something so yeah. silly. Yeah. <laughs> and do you guys know that we have some discounts for insurance for you out there too? All that's in the Discord. We've got discounts yeah. so many places. The discount yeah. we have is through Next Insurance, right guys? Yeah. Yeah. So in, in our Discord, once again, if you guys need insurance and such like that and you haven't gotten insurance, Next Insurance is actually the insurance that Quick Play uses. I use myself. Um, I know you guys are switching over if you haven't already done so. But this yep. is the main insurance, mm -hmm. and it's the most affordable insurance out there, and they are perfect for vending. Like That's what they specialize in is vending. So make sure you guys check it out. We have the uh, link in the discord so check that out and you guys can sign up you'll be really happy with the quotes yeah, even for me cheap. like it's super as cheap. much as big as my route is and as much money i bring in it's less than 30 dollars a month for even me so that's yeah. huge so yeah and like i know like right now i'm paying like 400 dollars for the year so i mean when you when you break it down on a monthly basis i mean that that, that is actually much cheaper to go to yes. that route yeah so very cool uh, Jaime says he's been busy, but hopefully he can get a video out next week. He has a meeting with a huge location for a market and coffee service. So wish me oh, luck. Hey, good luck good with luck, that. Man. That'll be Fingers awesome. Cross, buddy. Thanks. Let's know. I think we got to play this for Jaime here. Here we go. Ready? Like a boss. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> like a boss. <laughs> yeah, Jaime <laughs> showing us how it's done. Inspiring all the people out there. Thanks, Jaime, for being here. We appreciate you, man. Yeah, those markets Very cool. are sweet. Very they cool. are, they are. I mean, and yeah. they're so high tech too, with all the camera systems and like the cashless payment systems and all the fancy. checkouts, and it's very fancy, very high tech, very cool. Um, here we go. Kim Huff got a cool idea here, which I never, never, never thought of. Says, "I just got a mini, a mini, a mini claw machine into a gun range. The owner texted me and was surprised that there was an adult playing." Looking for keychains and more adult stuff. I put leather coin purses in it that say beer money. That's pretty cool. Oh, nice. I mean, so many people here think outside the box. I yeah. so I struggle with that kind of stuff sometimes. Like, I never would have thought to put a mini in a, in a place like that. I don't think she's going to find any place in the States that's going to sell gun toys, I don't think. Um, probably she's not. probably going to have to go to China and get stuff well, like an Eva and stuff, right? Yeah. So, Eva, if you ask Eva, she has some really cool ones. Like they, they actually. I don't want to talk about it too much because we're on YouTube. Right, right, but right, you right. Have a magazine. It slides in there, and the little uh, things pop out. The little bullet. The little pew pews. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They don't actually fire anything, but it's super right. cool. I would talk to Eva. They're, they're really cool. I toys. can remember never... back in like the eighties and nineties. Like that was like th those kind of things were big in like bulk machines that you would buy in like yes. two inch capsules. Do you remember those? Yeah, like they I have remember, bulk stuff. I remember around, those, but... like, of, of course, like rabbit's foot, and of course, then the homies blew up. But yeah, I remember that kind of stuff back in the day. You don't see that kind of stuff very much anymore, though. I don't know. All right, um, here we go. Let's see. Here's a question coming in from Lodo. It says, have you placed any vending machines in apartment complexes? And if you have. What were some of the things that the decision makers liked most? I've never done an apartment complexes. How about you guys? We've tried, but we haven't been able to get into any around here. So um, we've tried all the ones in town for mm -hmm. the full line, 
yeah. we haven't done it for claw machines or anything like that just full line vending because they're not near shopping centers or anything they're kind of away so kind of like that whole, whole whole hotel thing they don't want to leave yeah and um it, they're all companies that manage it from like sacramento and stuff not mm-hmm. even close to us so yeah. they don't you know they don't return our calls or anything like that so we've yet to get into some places like that but i could see i mean we've got one that's like i think it's like i don't know it's two thousand units or something like that and like one room where the laundry is for the, all those units and so you can imagine how many people must go through that one room you know and if they had it there it would do great but we just can't get a hold of somebody so yeah, I know there's a YouTube channel that isn't very active anymore. Um, you may have heard me talk about it in the past, but it was Mike G with Chrome Vending on YouTube. He had some apartment locations that I think he did pretty well at. If you want to go back and watch some of Chrome Vending's videos, there's probably some good stuff there. So you can go check that out for sure. Nice. Yeah, I know. I used to watch the heck out of his videos back in the day. He was one of the another, another one of the ones I used to watch before I got started. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um. I wanted to highlight this one too. Brent joins us, says, I'm going to ha- I'm going to an axe throwing company nearby. Ooh, I nice. think it can do well. They can get busy. You know what's yeah. funny? So at one of the arcade auctions, there was a machine and it, it went for like twenty five hundred dollars. But it was it was like a key master, but instead it had axes that would go like cut something. Like there were multiple options, not like kind of like barber cut, but instead, it, you know, it moved like a key mouse, like the axe would go through and cut something like straight on. And I always thought a machine like that would do really well at like an axe throwing place. I'll have to see if yeah. I can find a picture of it and put it in the discord or something like that because it looked really cool. But it, of course, it went for like twenty five hundred dollars, just like a, a key master would go at the auction. Yeah. So lot, lots of lots of lots of money there. But at the right axe throwing place, it, it could do really well, I would think for sure. All right, next question comes from Samuel Evans, says, what average prize cost do you keep your dollar Mega Minis at, and what are the odds? Extreme, do you want to take that one? So, uh, yeah, I've been putting a lot of premium stuff in mine. So I, I put my odds actually a little bit higher than what I normally do because also I get a lot of traffic and volume, and I don't want to be there every single, uh, like, twice a week. I want to be there once a week. Yeah. So I've been setting my odds to 1 in 12. But I put nothing but premiums and sprinkle a little bit of the cheaper stuff. My average price is probably around two dollars a toy in there. So, yeah. but they're all the nice stuff. So I do, and then I pay out a premium percent to these locations with the high volume. I'm paying out uh, three dollars and fifty cents on every ten dollars worth of, of of sales. So thirty five percent, and that turns out to be a, truthfully fifty fifty when you go to net. So I'm paying out a huge amount. So I got one in twelve. But that's still a lot of winners. Like I, it's funny because I went to the uh, couple of locations and I was doing the collection on, and my machines are uh, after like six hundred dollars, they're nearly empty, and it, it was only four days at this one location, and they just talk about how everyone's just so happy with the machine. The customers are happy. They think yeah. they win a lot. They know they win a lot, and then the uh, store is happy because I write them out a huge check, and then I'm happy because I collect it. So. Oh, uh, no. One everybody's a winner yeah everyone feels like they're winning and then if you actually do the credit card charge and you do the ten dollar credit card charge you get 13 plays so you should be guaranteed to win at least one time yeah and then have a chance if you time it right very small chance you could win twice sure so, so ours we we have prizes anywhere from 30 cents to a dollar 50 or so in our machines um maybe there's a couple two dollar items that we bought some nicer plush some pokemon stuff and stuff and um we're running them at one and eight so ours are one and eight and they're at a dollar so our stuff isn't quite as nice as david's david's got some really nice stuff in his but we do we have a really good mix like we've got you got um you know we got some some plush that we bought that's like some mario stuff that we got from um good stuff and some other things that we put in there too and those are pretty pricey but then all the other stuff is you know inexpensive stuff that we got in the keychains and and that kind of thing so we got a pretty good mix and we run it at one and eight and they do really well so but i could see where he's coming from because his stuff's like pricey so it makes sense and then also have to pay out that percent uh right that high percent 
So I have to do it at one in 12. But like I said, I got a lot of help, uh, happy customers. My customers seem to be really happy. That's great. Uh, all yeah, the time. For sure. We have, we never get any calls. I thought for sure with our number on there and everything else that we'd be getting calls like I didn't win or they took my money or something and we don't get any calls at all on any of yeah. our machines. So it just goes to show you how reliable they are and and how exciting it is for people and that they're winning. You know what I mean? They're not upset. Yeah. We got one phone call once when we went from 50 cents to a dollar. And it was a <laughs> little, little kid that called me on the phone and said, why is it a dollar? And I said, did you look inside at the toys? He goes, yeah, they're really cool. And I said, that's why it's a dollar. I said, the prices are, are a little <laughs> So nicer. much more goes, expensive. Yeah, and he goes, oh, they are nicer, though. They are really nice. He goes, oh, that makes sense. Thank you. And I said, no problem. <laughs> you know? but he, he just wondered why it went up, you know. But then he's like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. But he didn't he didn't put two and two together. But it was really cute, you know, because he's like, you know, I really like the prizes. And I'm like, okay. So it made sense to him then. But we that's the thing. Like if you're going in a location, start high. Don't don't go in at fifty and expect to raise it because yeah, people it's it's easier more. to go lower than it does to go higher, that's for yeah. sure. All right, another super chat coming in. At the end of the night, Timothy Northrup says, I have an apartment complex and do six fifty on average. That's really Ooh, good. Nice. Oh, good to know. Very nice. All right, Damn we're gonna it. give this to you, Timothy. Here you go. Ready? Like a <laughs> 650 awesome. on the average that's awesome that's really good that's better that's better than my laundromat machine that's awesome is that good a stuff. week or a month i'm guessing that's, that's a, a month but uh you never know it could be a week i'm guessing it's a month though a good month yeah there we go and then sweet treat king talking about calls he says he only got two calls since last july that's really good too yeah good to know good to know oh, and David, I thought we lost her for a second there. I thought you guys were lost. <laughs> Why did you guys drop out? Nope, you disappeared <laughs> from us. All right, though, guys, we are in our last 10 minutes of the live stream, so now's a good time to talk about the giveaway one more time. David, you want to tell them about it this time? Yeah, so, and I'm, I'm pulling up the numbers. We have a total of 335 entries right now, so you got nice. a really good chance of winning the the uh, galaxy i almost said galaxy games but it's okay if i do say that because you it can, really is you know yeah i'm gonna promote it anyway so you can just you can just associate it with me from going forward <laughs> yeah let but you, uh, we you know you know with... you know uh jonathan talk to grant let's work out a deal here yeah, let's, yeah, let's, yeah. let's just let's just brand it <laughs> galaxy games and put 843 underneath that yeah <laughs> that would be perfect that, that'd be so good but it really is a beautiful machine and it's it's a galaxy themed it's amazing yes. seeing it uh, the live streams when Jonathan did the live streams just was so cool to see the excitement of the customers, the crowds just surrounding it and coming in constantly and surrounding yeah. the machines. That's possible. The chances of winning that is one in one hundred uh, three hundred and thirty five right now. Uh, we're giving it away on July twenty uh, fourth, so mm -hmm. we got just over a month left. It's free to sign up. You just have to join the Discord. Make sure you put in the correct information. We'll be doing that live on the live stream to drawing. We are doing this with AZ Amusements. And uh, it's between Galaxy Games A43, Howard Hospitality Group, Quick Play, and myself. So make sure you guys sign up for it. You do not want to just miss out on this opportunity. It was so much fun. The last giveaway, we had over 100 people in the live stream, and it was a beautiful thing. And everyone was having so much fun. It was a big party. What so a great you guys want to make right? sure you so attend. Awesome. It was so great. The so energy. Awesome. I yes. mean, we had we had Jaime. Uh, when, we, when we were in. Um, Vegas, and it, it, we ended up pulling the first winner that didn't ever claim the prize. That was so. Uh, that was so. That was epic. That was epic. That was yeah. epic. I, I, yeah. It was so great. But what's wonderful is when we did that last live stream, the the winner was in the stream with us, and we, you know, awesome. like I said, we had over a hundred people, and that winner was just like freaking out. We pulled her on the stream. We got to talk with her, and we want to do that to whoever uh wins you know if they have the opportunity to come on the stream with us that would be awesome so make sure you guys sign up for it only uh 335 entries just gotta join that discord which is in the description down below and go ahead and sign yourself up it's free it takes two minutes to do so did i miss anything i kind of went on for a while no no you were oh, great no, yeah, i really liked how you focused on the energy of the last one yeah and how much fun we had guys we had so much fun it was fun in Vegas, when we pulled the first name, unfortunately that winner wasn't able to claim the prize. So then we did that restream. Though, we did it again. <laughs> yeah, it, it was it was almost like two contests in one. So it was really cool because yeah. we got to do it. We got to pull a winner twice, even though there was only one actual winner. We got to pull the winner twice, and there was just so much energy, so much fun. We had such a great time, and I can't wait 
to do it again. Can't wait to give yeah. another have another win. I know, and this one's even bigger. This is a galaxy, the twenty four inch galaxy. Yes, do you guys realize this is probably like if you were to say, uh, you know, with te- with shipping and tax and stuff like that. This is probably really a twenty five hundred dollar prize For that's sure. being given away by For AZ sure. Amusements. So guys, yeah. if you, that, and, yeah. and if you guys ever want to order from AZ Amusements, you gotta make sure you talk to Jonathan Howard because he works with AZ Amusements, that's and right. you're gonna get top of the line service too when you order from him and. And from Grant's, you're going to love your machines. We all do. We love the Grant machines and such. So, <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. We got a couple of people joining us here towards the end of the stream. I want to say hello to Jorn from Holland saying yeah. good afternoon from a sunny and warm afternoon in Holland. Nice. Hey, Jorn. Thanks for joining us. It's nighttime here, at least for me. Evening for my counterparts here. <laughs> and then also Al says, what's up, fellas? Hey, Al, just so yeah. you guys know, we are in the last few minutes of our stream. But thank you so much for joining us, at least for the last few minutes anyway. We do appreciate you being here. All right. Let's, like I said, though, we are in our last few minutes. So what other topics do you guys want to cover before we wrap things up? Anything you want to add? I do. Um, Go for it. In the Discord, and I don't know if you guys have played, you know, because a lot of people are new to the Discord, but... Uh, we made it a lot easier now in the discord that if you go to the main page of the discord that lists all the channels and you go to the very very top one that says important info at the very bottom of the important info it says discounts and affiliate links in there is the source that you guys need to keep in the back of your mind if you need to order stuff um, for your business because all the discounts that we have and all the affiliations that we have are listed in there. So whether it's, you're going to buy something from candy machines, we have a link, use the quick play code and it gets you a discount. So you get, you know, you help our channel out and then you help out quick play. So, which is awesome. That's in there. Um, we got the all-star stuff in there. We have the next insurance stuff in there. We've got flatline. David's finishing up with, um, AA global working on stuff with them. That's coming along. Um, so all of your links and discounts and the insurance and, and all the stuff that you need is in that channel. So Delwig did a really good job of putting it all together in one place for you guys to find it. Yes, and thank so, you so much before for that. you buy anything, go there and click on that stuff. And then, and some of it will help us. Some of it's just a discount for you, but correct. that's the first place you should go before you buy anything and um you know, look and see what's in there you know and save yourself some money because that's why we do this is to help you guys save money and and it's just great because the discord and the more you use it the more this stuff we're going to get and the bigger discounts we're going to get and stuff because they're going to see all of us using it and and and, and that's pushing awesome. that traffic to those companies exactly yeah that's, and that's, that that helps us yeah. get bigger discounts for you guys and more discounts and sure. things, you know what i mean and it'll just grow from here and Anytime you can save money is a great time. You know what I mean? That's just awesome. So try to go there first before you buy anything. And and a lot of people didn't know it was there. And they've been asking me, where's your candy machines link? And I'm like, it's it's in there, you know? But they yeah. didn't know that that channel was there. So I wanted to point that out for all the people right. in Discord to go there because it's a good and, spot. And uh, the, to kind of add to that, Jonathan made some good points. Um, these discounts are, are truly amazing and unique because I don't know if you ever done vending before, like a few years ago, these discounts never, ever existed. I tried to find, no. you know, Google uh-huh. looking for these discounts just for anything. And it's really thanks to the, the you, your viewerships that we have these discounts. And I know it's a trial period and we're trying to encourage everyone to get into it because it's really going to help out everyone in the long run because yeah. I want these discounts to stay and I want them to get better. I want them to have other opportunities for us and, and it's really what I'm trying to get at is I remember going to AA Global or just any place and trying to get that little extra discount promo code. And they absolutely did not exist. No. So this yeah. this is a special like uh, Flatline and, and I know a uh, um, All-Star Vending, they made this special. Like they had to go in the back office, recode a lot of things, get things <laughs> yeah, going. They did. <laughs> they did a lot of work like this. We, we They've been working on this since March. It took them nearly three months to get this stuff going. Um, but we're going to try it out and it's really cool. Like this is really, uh, awesome that we have these discounts. Yeah. And because let's see, as known, normally the only people that got discounts of any of this kind of stuff was when you'd order, you know, containers full of stuff from them or whatever, then they'll give you a discount. But I mean, those are the only people that were getting discounts in the past so that we actually have one is pretty awesome. So right. 
please help doing it because I mean, it just, it'll help us grow and it'll help you guys save money. So we want to keep bringing more and more. So yeah. And remember the discord is completely free. The premium yep. option is there, but it's not required. So you can join and gain access to all these discount codes for zero charge. Yeah. Yes. I want to make sure you remember that. We just want you guys to, to save money. <laughs> that's right. So, you know, and use it. And the, and the help you get from the discord is, is priceless. I mean, everybody that's, that's right. in there is helpful. That's right. So yeah, that alone is awesome. So. Well, good stuff. All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up right here. Thank you all so much for being here. Thanks for joining us week after week on our live stream. We'll do it again next Wednesday. So make sure you join us and we appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching our channels. Thanks for liking our videos. Thanks for all the comments, all the interactions. We really do appreciate it. We couldn't do it without all of you out there. So thank you so much for that. With that said, though, it is time to end the live stream. Thanks again for being here, guys. Have a great night. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye, guys. Thank you for everything.